Holidays. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? Welcome. Welcome, guys. It's Friday night. Friday, December 21st, the traditional night that we do our saving throw holiday special. Sorry, we'll, we'll kick down that. Sorry. Yeah, Dom is now traditionally leaving the room. <laughs> and, and returning return. shamefacedly. <laughs> um, my name is Jordan Capes Callerman, and we're not doing wild cards or any of that nonsense tonight, no, because everyone's leaving town for the holidays, so we thought we would leave town for the holidays in our minds. Ooh, wow. And go on a nice little holiday journey wow. through that most classic of Christmas stories, the tale of the Christmas goblins, which oh. everyone mm -hmm. knows intimately mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and has been raised with uh, mm -hmm. their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will be uh, not, not the GM this evening. I will be the narrator and narrator. I will be trying, we'll see how long it lasts, to uh, narrate everything in third person. Uh, SF Giants 49er, thank you very much for the tip. And, and uh, Simon Pierre and God, thank you for the resub. Where, where's Simon? I don't know. We, uh, we don't have anyone behind the scenes tonight. Want me to work on that? So yeah, no. I will be pulling double <laughs> duty as also the person who does the tier stuff. But DJ Regular is kind enough to help us out in chat with some of this as well. So thank you very much to DJ Regular. Thank so you. Uh, we'll talk about that here in just a second. But before Ru we get works. to all of that, oh, Ru works. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Um, let's meet everybody here at the table. So so uh, just we'll go around and tell everyone uh, who you are. And then uh, don't worry about who your characters are because we'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, let's, let's start at that end over there with you. And Hello. the Wild Ferret, thank you very much for the reset. Thank oh, you, thank Wild you. Ferret, welcome. Uh, my name's Don Zook. <laughs> and that is true. Yeah. True. Right next Actually, to Don Zook. Yeah. Well, is, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing. God, I didn't. Uh, okay. Move on. It's fine. All right, moving on. Right next to Don. <laughs> I'm Diana Restrepo, and I come from Dragons and Things. Woo! Right. And I'm here with all of you. And thank you guys for inviting me again. I'm so happy. Yay. Thank you for being here. Yeah, no, this is awesome. And FD Every, thank you for the resub. Oh, thank you. Then jumping across the table, we've got. Hi, my name is Megan Case. Hi, Megan. Oh, hi. Hi, hi Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Dom. This is Diana. Hi, hi. nice to meet you. Megan. And then finally. Hi. <laughs> I'm I'm Eric Reichert, and uh, Saving Throw is contractually obligated to invite me to all Christmas themes. Wow, that is geez. correct. Uh, I tried uh, really hard to see if there was any way I could get away with doing this without him, but my lawyers yeah. assured me he has yeah ironclad contract. I've had three different lawyers look at that contract. It is watertight. <laughs> they don't know. We don't know how he did it. This is uh, all I have. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Aww. Um. So. We will be running something a little bit different tonight. Uh, Dad Storian, thank you very much for the Hey, Hey, yeah, I got another one. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. All right, we we'll keep, we're keeping score. Hi, Blair. Um, so uh, we are we are doing tips tonight because we here at Saving Throw are an independent channel. Uh, we run uh, largely off of volunteer efforts and from the support of amazing viewers like you. So if you're having a fun time tonight, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, if you want to continue to support the channel and help us grow, evolve, and put on great new exciting content, please do consider tipping during the show tonight. It means a lot to us and it also literally helps keep the lights on mm. and ensures that Dom, at the very least, has a very Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm in for life. Thank you very much for the bits. <laughs> oh, another one. I got another one. Here we go. All right. That's two. <laughs> One, two, okay. Uh, wild Ferret, too. Wild Ferret, there and, we go. Uh, it's Lucas Martinez, I saw him in the chat. All right, but it doesn't count. Oh, okay, it doesn't count. Oh, doesn't count. <laughs> um, He's a sub. So in order to see... Uh, we don't make the rules. The <laughs> link for uh, for tipping tonight, you can enter exclamation mark uh, tips in the uh, chat panel. Yeah, why yeah, why is great. this? Why am I tripping up on this? I don't know. Uh, first show. It's and first show. Yeah. As per usual, um, all cash tips and bit tips over 100 bits go towards unlocking fun in-game rewards that will affect the course of the game tonight and the way that we play. To see what we have on offer tonight, you can enter exclamation mark unlocks in the chat. And let me make sure I took my cursor off all of them so they're all visible. Yes! <laughs> yes, they are all visible, so check that out. We are also doing toasts tonight. We're doing toasts. Yeah, why not? So if you want us to raise our glasses and toast to whatever you would like us to, within reason, as long as you're not a jerk, please don't be a jerk. You guys are great. You don't, you don't seem like jerks. You definitely don't smell like jerks. Uh, Snake Guys 0820, thank you for the bits. And Scott Denuso, thank you very much for the bits. All right. Thank you guys for coming on over. 
Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that love for Diana. Aww, love um, for you guys, too. And, and for us, too. But I mean, really, for Diana. Let's go start. Also, if you didn't know, if you sub, resub, or gift a sub during the show tonight, you can give one of these fine people at the table here a reroll token that they can use at the table, or you can give one to me tonight because no, 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 no. Uh, all bets are off. Mm. All bets are off. I oh, no. also add to the bits thing, don't forget to add hashtag charity to your bits because then a portion of those proceeds go towards helping of uh, uh, many, many nonprofit causes uh, that, that Twitch is uh, supporting. So oh, that's great. So we get we get all of that money, but also Twitch also donates in, in addition to. So They're matching oh, donations. Cool. So uh, yeah. I'm in for life. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Yay. Welcome. So uh, please let uh, DJ Regular know in chat if you would like, if you sub and you would like to uh, gift a reroll to one of the players at the table, uh, let him know who you would like it to go to. And uh, I guess also if you uh, tip for a toast, let him know what you would like to say or what you would like us to say, rather. All right. So with that, have, oh, Dom's Christmas. Dom's Christmas. It's Dom's <laughs> Christmas fund. <laughs> That's so nice! Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Thank you guys. All right, so uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this updated. While I do, let's talk characters. Let's talk characters. 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 <laughs> all right, so you guys he <laughs> tonight are all going to be portraying <laughs> homestarrunner.com <laughs> characters. No, you're okay. gonna be playing Elves, Santa's elves, Santa's elves. The, the, what you think of when you think of Santa's elves, those. That's what you're all going to be playing tonight. Okay. Now you oh, all, before the years. show, you picked one of the four pre-made elf characters that I made. So we have uh, Dom. You are playing as what archetype for I'm us the, tonight? The foreman. The foreman. The foreman on the workshop floor. One of the foreman on the workshop floor. Not the top foreman, but a uh, a mid-level foreman. Uh, the top, the top foreman is, uh, uh, of course, Clank. Uh, the Bard, 1971. Thank you very much. Thank you, the Bard. Uh, top foreman is Clank. Uh, but, you know, you'll get there. I just you'll get there. Say it doesn't say middle-level foreman here. It just says mm. the foreman. Yeah, but that's because that's the name of the archetype. Uh, Diana, which archetype are you playing? I'm the Elfja. The Elfja, of course. You are one of the many elves skilled in the art of elf jitsu, mm -hmm. uh, who have achieved the rank of Elfja. Uh, Megan? <laughs> Love it. I'm the tinkerer. The tinkerer. The tinkerer, yes. Uh, an elderly tinkerer. Uh, one of the oldest members of the of the workshop workforce. And Eric. I am the security guard. The security <laughs> guard. That's right. They can't all be winners, kid. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, great. Kitsu723. Uh, Two more from me. Duchess of Dinos, yep. thank you. Two more points. Oh, oh Duchess of Dinos, yeah. Thank you very much for that. Natasha! Uh, so, guys, what we need yes. at this point is I need you all to name your elves. Okay. Now, as we all know, elves' names are onomatopoetic. So, basically, an elf's name is uh, chosen f for them by the, by the elfish community at the time they come of age. So, once you come of age, demonstrate your elfish engineering skill and develop a device that can be used for the good of the workshop to further the cause. At that point, the community all assign you your name. Wait, so, what do they call you before that? Yeah, uh, they just like question. make eye contact with you and call you "Hey, you." That's not elfish. Crazy. Look, elfish society is very efficient and reliable, and it's the children, efficient. the children, are often not a part of the day-to-day -day, uh, goings on at the workshop. So, uh, you're not really supposed. Like, you might have like nicknames or or pet names as a child, but you're full. Elfish adult name is given to you when you demonstrate your elfish engineering ability. You're just like Gary when you're like up until you're like 18, and then after that you get your vampire 54. Really cool Thank name. you very much for the tip. Thank you, vampire 54. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull out a calculator for the odd cent donations. Okay, uh, while I do that, all of you guys put together your onomatopoetic name. It is a one word what? onomatopoeia. Are we naming? Uh, we we all have to name. You name yourself. Other. Oh, I thought right. we would name yeah, each other. Yeah, you said, you just told yeah, us you that said we're the elf community. community. Yeah. The elf community names you, but like that happened previously. You guys well, already all fun. have your names. No, we should name each other. If you would rather should, name, yeah, each other, name each other, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. can. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 go for it. Who are we gonna start with? Eric. Okay. All right. Uh, well, so you should tell them a little bit about your character first. Uh, well, when it came time for my security guard to uh, basically present his 
design for a toy and present his built toy, his original toy, which is something all elves have to do at some well, point. To be clear, um, some of them develop toys, uh, but your elfish engineering accomplishment is something that furthers the, the cause, that okay. helps the, the workshop out. Mm. My, my character uh, tried to, like, really want, went all in on this uh, and uh, turned in what he thought would be his masterpiece, which was literally a cardboard box full of springs uh, that somehow caught fire. <laughs> yes, um, your character uh, does is unable to elfishly engineer. Um, it does happen every now and then. It's very rare. But yes, uh, Eric's poor security guard has become a security guard because he is unable to aid the workforce in any other way. However, the elfish community are, are, are very kind. They believe in the spirit of the holidays and Christmas. Socialist utopia. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, they wanted to find a place for you. So they made you a security guard. Aww. Now, what onomatopoetic name does Eric's elf have? Boing. Because the springs caught on fire? Right, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Eric, you are boing. <laughs> boing. boing the elf. Boing. Um, now, at this point, I should mention that there are a few traits that all elves share. Uh, apart from their ability to elfishly engineer, uh, with some exceptions, uh, all elves are small, around three to four feet tall. This makes them a little less uh, quick and a, uh, a little less tough. And then all elves are pacifist by nature. All elves will only fight if they absolutely have to. They believe that the spirit of Christmas lives and dwells inside of every living creature. And if you just appeal to it, holiday magic can see you through any difficult situation. Hmm. The wild ferret. wild ferret! Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for the tip. Thank you, the wild ferret. Wow, thank you, that thank means you. a lot. You home alone, Eric. All right. My hair turned white. So <laughs> that's all our tears. I can't do that. What? We'll just poof. Make more. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, mystery oh, box. Yeah. Mystery box. I don't mystery bring box. the mystery box. Uh, <laughs> make it up. Yeah. Red zone. Now give us that one tier that you were mad we figured out. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'll 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 come up with an, another mystery tier. Mm. Uh, so we got Boing for Eric. Megan, tell everyone about your character. All right. Uh, my character is the Tinkerer. Um, she uh, basically. Uh, came up with quantum tunneling. Quantum Ooh, tunneling, quantum yes. Quantum tunneling, so, uh, which was a really big deal uh, for getting you know Christmas presents to all the kids in time and made uh, uh, Santa's job a lot easier. Revolutionized uh, the the big man's uh, wow. efforts. Yeah. yeah, and she's... The head honcho. Yeah, she's very, very important uh, in the elf community. Would, would, would you say you're the tinkerer, or is there a tinkerer maybe above you? Uh, no, she is the tinkerer. Ah, the, the tinkerer. tinkerer. Uh, I mean, we're talking teleportation. No, um, quantum tunneling. Quantum, quantum tunneling. Uh, uh, so. Aha! Hmm. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aha! Aha, it is! Aha! Aha. 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 Yeah. <laughs> It's more like, aha! 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 aha. <laughs> more of an exclamation than an yeah. onomatopoeia, but yeah. w we'll allow it. Um, because uh, she is an elder elf, and mm. at that point, naming conventions were a little bit different. Cultural conventions being what they are. It could be yeah. Eureka. Things change. Uh, Eureka is even more of an exclamation than okay. onomatopoetic. Uh, Maybe your middle name's Eureka. Aha, Eureka! No, no middle names or oh. last names. Elves do not need them. Wow. Hmm. That's so harsh. For, for reasons. I, I remember this from the... From the story. Yeah. The classic Christmas story. Yep. Now, now that we have uh, Boing and Aha! Uh, Diana. Yes, um, well, my elf created uh, an invisibility uh, contraption. So it basically looks like a giant snow globe, and she rings a whole bunch of different bells on it, and it kind of opens up this like glass door, goes in, then um, takes these two candy canes, pulls the levers down, the glass shuts, and it's like a hurricane, one of those like simulator hurricanes, and it's like a whole bunch of like snow, like fake snow, like snow globe. And that and then... snow disperses the light. Yes. It doesn't disperse it, it disperses it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a light disbursement technology that has gone on to be used by the entire Elfja uh, community. Mm -hmm. uh, the elite squad of yes. Santa's assistants, of course, who help him get into the homes and deliver the presents unseen. Poof. On Christmas night. <laughs> Poof. 
Poof is yeah. pretty poof great. Food. I like poof. poof. I'm having difficulties with formatting, so let's no continue with Dom. Uh, so my elf grew up in a uh, in in a middle class elf family, uh, blue collar. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you you chose the wrong guy to make up a backstory for. This is gonna go for a ways, um, and uh, they were all they were all foremen at one point in time. Uh, long line of foremen. Long line of foremen. Four foremen. And uh, uh, I created a, a device that um, is actually uh, it's in the nose, and when you put your finger to your nose. It, it, it triggers the device. It sends a chemical signal throughout your body that allows you to move faster than light. Um, oh, chew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Achoo. Achoo. I agree. Uh, this, this one is not actually any sort of, uh, of completely original elfish technology. I will say that Achoo actually... Uh, did some did some work uh, back in the eighties uh, when he was getting ready to do his elfish engineering. Uh, Santa Slay came back from a trip with a strange substance on it that yeah. he was uh, <laughs> uh, a little bit mystified by and confused with. So uh, oh, no. his his device uh, or his substance is actually just uh, slightly modified cocaine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, maybe it that's why it's administered different? nasally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean, it, most of his form and stuff is, is growing and maintaining coca leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Which, not, much easier to grow in the North Pole than you would think, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Especially with global warming. Yeah. Hydroponics, <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. Let me just get this set up. Great. So, okay, there's a new tier set up. So, a chew. Bless you. I get where this is going. Yeah, Poof. get ready for that. Poof. Aha! Boing. Boing. Okay. Great. So these are our elves. Um, and before we find out where they are on, on this uh, beautiful winter's <laughs> night, let us uh, deal with some of these things that have okay. come in from you fantastic uh, holiday well-wishers out there. Um, let us all lift a glass. Okay. Uh, I have Santa's prescribed a drink of choice. <laughs> yes. Vampire54 <laughs> would like us to toast. And Bogues. Lift up a glass of eggnog for the home team. Yeah. Lift, Lift up a glass of eggnog for the home, home team. team. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. 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 <laughs> wow. Made up with that uh, on the spot. That's that good. Uh, very creative. Lady Amago would like us to toast. Happy Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. Oh, that's interesting. Happy Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. ho. And the wild ferret would like us to toast. Merry Christmas to everyone. May you all have a great holiday. Aww. Merry Christmas, Christmas to everyone. everyone. May you all have a great holiday. Oh, good. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, Thank you very much, great, the yes. wild ferret. Ho, ho. And we also have some sub rerolls to give out as well. Please. Tree snow, tree snow, happy cold time. No, nope. tree snow. Tree snow happy it's a different, that that's year. a different uh, holiday. Have we done that yet? No. no. Uh, every year you take it off. Uh, Saima Thirnkot <laughs> would like to give their uh, sub re-roll to their sweet Christmas angel, Eric. Aww. Aww. The Wild Ferret would like to give their sub re-rolls two to Diana. Oh, wow. And two Thank to Dom. Oh. Oh. Look at Thank this side you. of the Here we go. Thanks. No! I hate Team Santa Claus. <laughs> FD Every would like to give their sub reroll to the table. Yeah. The table! Oh. Rue Works would like to give their sub reroll to Megan. Thank you, Rue Works. I'm in for life. Would like to give their sub reroll to Diana. Aw, thank you. And Snake Eyes zero eight two zero would like to give their sub reroll to a Diana. Oh, thank you guys. So thank you guys very much. Advanced. Thank you. All right. Also, Snake Eyes. That was the baddest of asses of GI Joes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Snake Eyes was pretty great. Yeah. Yes. You guys ready to? Yes. Christmas this up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ready. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Once upon a time, not so long ago, up in the wondrous world of the North Pole, where, of course, Santa's workshop is located and all of his many elves toil and work away the days and nights leading up to that most magical of evenings, Christmas Eve, we found 
quite a buzz in the workshop. All of the elves were going about their business, cheerily and happily preparing for another fantastic holiday season. Why, look there through the window. There, over by the large contraptions, making sure everything's in order. Why, it's that old tinkerer elf. Aha! <laughs> what? Let's see what she's up to. <coughs> what? What was she doing that fine winter's night? Who's saying my name? N no one. I'm a, I'm a narrative construct. You're, you're not supposed to respond to anything <laughs> that I say. I'm merely relaying the story. Oh. Uh, just pretend I'm not here and just describe what it is that you're you, doing. Can you be a little quieter? It's very hard to concentrate with all your noise. I'm sorry. Just, just, just say what you're doing. I <laughs> am working on a faster way to tunnel for Santa. Alone, of course, as the tinkerer was often uh, most comfortable being. Everyone's too young! And loud, she they thought. They don't know how to tunnel properly yet. She would often exclaim in the midst of the workshop. <laughs> But, but look, who's that across the way making sure that all of the machinery is working as it is intended and making sure everyone is working at the machinery as they are intended? Why, it's the, the kindly middle foreman. Achoo! Bless you! Again, don't respond to me. I'm not really here. I'm more of, a, more of an omniscient uh, narrator than I am anything else. Zip, zap, back to work, quit, quit. Playing with those toys. Uh, sorry, boss. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to it. It's just that uh, I learned a lot of yo-yo tricks, and uh, we I'm just trying to show we them don't play with them. You're right. You're right. That's one of the many rules. And they went back to their work under the watchful tutelage of their middle management foreman, Achu. Meanwhile, bless you. <laughs> Again, I'm okay. Uh, uh, meanwhile, up in the shadowy attic where all of the elf just trained in their elf jitsu dojo. Why, who else would it be here but Poof, that most devoted of the elf just doing some training, it looks like? She would often exclaim. Oh, I think I'm almost ready for this. I can't wait to try my new move, the spin star icicle. Oh, well, that sounds exciting. And what, what, well, who's this over here? With not another elf in sight. No, I, they seem to be avoiding him for some reason. Oh, well, that's because it's that brawny security elf they've got wandering around the place. Uh, not too great for any of the repairs or the maintenance or the building, but uh, he does make quite an intimidating presence for an elf. And no Remy. Uh. Hey, you, Merry Christmas, huh? Hey guys, you, uh, afterwards you gotta, um, you think it, no, okay. We're really, we're, we're really busy, uh, really busy, Boing. Well, what about, what about all the 26? Oh, uh, the 26 is, you know, that's our traditional day of rest, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boing, don't bother my workers. Okay, so, so, sorry, at you. Bless, Bless you! you. Why, it looks like everything's exactly where it needs to be here on the workshop. And of course, Santa himself is up in his office overlooking the workshop floor, but he's very busy right now. Too busy to be overseeing things. Why, he's got a long list to make and check twice at least. So he's left his most trusted senior elf in charge as the head foreman. It's Clang. Clang, the elf. Tufts of hair coming out of his wizened ears. He's old. Not as old as Aha, of course. What? <laughs> Nothing. I wasn't. I was just mentioning your name. Well, it's... Then don't say my name if you don't have anything to say to me. Who I'm are, busy. Yeah, you really who shouldn't are you be talking, talking to me. That's to me. right now. Uh, it's that uh, young man who. Ke Why are you in here? I Get out of here. You're sorry, not supposed sorry. to be anywhere <laughs> near me in my quantum tunneling. That's true. Everyone knows Boeing is bad luck. <laughs> Oh, but wait, wait, there's one thing that's been forgotten on this cheerful winter night. Why, yes, all of these elves, though they don't know it yet, are the protagonists of our story tonight. And as the protagonists of this story, that means they are afforded a special benefits that they can use to help them succeed this winter's evening. And those benefits shall be handed out now. Take 
three benefits, unless Four. you have luck. I do. All right. One, two, three, and... Four. And remember, elves, you can spend these benefits for any one of a variety of things, but don't worry about that yet. I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen on this winter's evening. Mm. Take your three. This is just candy. No, it isn't. Do we get to eat it? Uh, only when you use it. Oh. That's what I'll eat this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes, another busy, productive winter's evening here at the, oh. Oh, wait, what's that? Up there on that catwalk, it looks like uh, one of those elves is pinwheeling his arms. Oh no, something appears to be a Oh, oh no, oh no, he's falling. He's falling from oh, the God. catwalk. Oh, oh wait, oh no, it's a code red. Code red, oh no, okay, that catwalk broke and all of these elves fell down off of the catwalk and now they're on the conveyor belt. Oh, oh shoot, oh cinnamon biscuits. It looks like they're heading right for the incinerator. What? Oh no, oh, and the lockdown protocol's gone into effect, so it's all been, the plexiglass shielding is dropping around the, uh, the, around the conveyor belt in order to prevent workplace accidents, but it appears that we're heading for one right now. Why? This is quite a dramatic task we find ourselves in. It wow. seems like someone is going to have to keep those poor, poor elves from meeting a fiery, untimely end here on the factory floor. Clang starts shouting from up above. Everyone, lockdown procedures. Do what you uh, remember to follow, follow the procedures, follow the protocol, follow the manual. But, but you all know. Following the manual, following the protocol, following the procedures, that's about protecting the equipment not about protecting your fellow elves. Aww. If anyone is going to save those elves who are screaming and banging from the inside of the plexiglass conveyor belt tunnel, it's going to have to be you. So here's what's going to happen. This is a dramatic task. I can hear it. Mm -hmm. It sounds dramatic. Red lights flash, the alarm bells sound, elves run hither and yon, to and fro, screaming and panicking, trying desperately to shut down things, make sure their workstations are accounted for. But who will save these elves trapped in the machine? We have three rounds. Three rounds, heroic elves. And I need 14 total successes <laughs> from the group in order to save these elves. Are you prepared? Okay. You can do whatever it is that you would like to, whatever skill you would like to use that you think would help in this situation, whether you want to try and shut down the machinery, whether you want to try and free the elves, whether you want to do something else entirely that you think would be helpful to the situation, you can attempt whatever it is you would like, but you have a mere 15 seconds before your elf friends are incinerated in the fire of unwelcome gifts. Is everyone ready? Here we go! Achoo, you get a four of clubs. That's bad. That means a complication for you, Achoo. A six of hearts for poof. Aha gets a six of spades. And a king of clubs for boing. Oh no. Oh no, that's two complications. What that means, you both are going to have a minus two to whatever it is you try to do in this round. And if you fail, the absolute worst thing will happen. That's right, if you fail, it all fails. Oh. And Boing, you are up first. <laughs> Help us, someone get us out of here, We're it's trying. so hot. This is my moment. This is the moment when I can prove to everyone that I, I can be an engineer like everyone else. Um, Boing, stop monologuing yeah. and save the elves! Just go, just go so, uh, But before you do, Boing, for this might be pertinent, SF Giants 49er would like to give one resub reroll to Dom Ooh, thank and you. one to Eric. Oh, oh that's good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. I want Boing to go to the machine uh, and in his mind, he's trying to repair it, but what he's actually do is just ripping pieces off of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is the giant central conveyor belt of the workshop, and uh, the workshop is not the quaint little cozy cottage that some people think it is. It's it's quite a large industrial cozy cottage. It used to be. Uh, it did, you know, but yeah. times being what they are, things have expanded. Um, so this is the central conveyor belt upon which everything uh, depends in the workshop. So you're just gonna go start ripping pieces <laughs> off of it. What skill are you going to use uh, for that? Uh, I feel like 
Either strengths or athletics. Athletics is what we're going to use okay. because uh, we're using uh, sort of mongrel suede rules since I haven't internalized the new rule system yet, uh, which means skills are active, attributes are passive. So athletics. Yeah. Give me an athletics roll. And that's a, a d10 and my wild die. And your wild die, but remember, you have a club there, so that's a potential complication. So this is going two. to be at a minus two. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. Uh, eight and a three. So you so keep eight. the best of the two, which is eight minus two is a six. That is Good. one success. I, got, uh, I see what the problem is. It's just this giant gear. <laughs> so Boing runs over to the machinery and despite the hanging wires with uh, free flowing, sparking electricity swinging about, manages completely obliviously to avoid those and starts pulling a gear out of the machine, which does indeed seem to slow down the conveyor belt at least a little bit. Hand in your card, Boing. You also missed the sign that says, please do not pull this gear. Yeah. <laughs> Load bearing gear. All right, next up, I believe, is Aha. Okay. Let me just get my quantum tunnel. Leaping into action with the utmost speed. <laughs> Timmy needs a toy. This is how <laughs> Timmy needs a toy. <laughs> this is how her device That's how you activate your quantum tunneling <laughs> device. Yes, and uh, she wants to teleport in and grab as many as she can and take them out. So one, <laughs> you got yeah. it. Give me an elfish engineering roll to activate your quantum tunneling device. Okay. All elves have elfish engineering. Well, Not all of the good ones. <laughs> I got a six. A six, and you have no such complication, so that is another success. You activate your quantum tunneling wreath, and with the key activation phrase, Timmy needs a toy, you poof out of existence with a smell of nutmeg. Oh, sorry. You pop out of existence with a smell of nutmeg. You aha out of existence with a smell of nutmeg. Grab one of the screaming elves locked inside the plexiglass death chamber of the conveyor belt, and then aha them out of that chamber. Well done, hand in your card. Go get some water. You're up next, poof. Um, is, uh, can I see if there's anyone that does not belong in the shop around, or? Oh, that's great. So you're gonna try and take a lay of the land. Yes. And see if you can figure out anything that that's isn't. Yes, Should give me a notice roll. You're gonna spend your round uh, being observant and seeing what is here that shouldn't be. Uh, three. Three. Uh, also roll your wild die as well with that. Which is nice. another D6. A one, ooh, oh. that is a failure. Now. You can use a reroll yes. to reroll one of those. Yes. However, yes. keep in mind because you have the edge Elon, because Ooh. you've got pizzazz. If you spend one of these to reroll, you get a plus two. However, these are more precious than those, so it's your call. No, we'll do a reroll. Okay, we'll a reroll. Re Spending a reroll. You reroll both of them. Oh, reroll yeah. both? Both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah! A four, better. which is another success. Yes. Three down, only 11 to go. Mm -hmm. You take a quick scan of the surroundings, running out from the attic dojo, and looking around, you feel a cold breeze just wafting against your face. Shouldn't be a cold breeze up here on the upper catwalk levels. Everything is warm and toasty, hot air rises, so it should be warm up here, but looking over, you see that one of the skylights is slightly open, and snow and cold air is blowing in from that direction. It seems like maybe there is something amiss here, poof. Finally. Achoo. Uh, I'm going to uh, run down and uh, there is a... I'm in for life, thank you very thank much you. for the tip. Hey, thanks I'm in for thank life. Thank you. Uh, there is a uh, uh, sort of an override uh, switch uh, that will try and shut the door to that go, like the conveyor belt goes through into the fire. To the unwanted uh, yes. gift incinerator? Right. Okay. But there's there's like a big heavy steel door that will shut that off. Okay. So I'm gonna try and pull that. And, You're gonna run for the button. Yeah. However, as you do, Clank steps in front of you. Achoo, this is not the time. You're going to permanently damage the conveyor belt system if you pull that override oh, switch. Bless you. I'm sorry, Clank, but there's something I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> so you are activating your, uh, yeah. your, what did we call this? We didn't. Your nasal invigorator? Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> all, all right, right, so give me an elfish engineering roll. That's going to be your skill for this round. Okay. 
Aced it. Aced it. All right, so you get to reroll. Uh, so that's, that's a nine. Now it's minus, minus two, two. Seven. Ah, oh, you really needed that uh, know, two I need, successes. I need, one, need one more. You go. There are no. Oh well. Can't add d d d six. You're gonna keep it. Um. There's a blue fate chips. I know. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a success. And I have a club, and I don't want to accidentally do something wrong. Mm. So, yeah, one success. Okay, one success. So you activate your na your nasal, uh, what did I just call it? Invigorator. Invigorator. Yeah. And uh, you feel the <laughs> holiday spirit coursing oh, through your veins. Take down this wall. Does anyone want to get sushi later? <laughs> don't you do it, Achoo! Bless you! Hand in your card, Achoo. Well done, that's round one. You have four successes. You need 10 more in the next two rounds in order right, to save. This, we got this, Please, please help us out of here, please! Oh, We're horrible. going to die and burn! No whammies, no whammies. Elves go to hell! <laughs> yeah, that's true. A three of diamonds. A queen of diamonds for Poof. A two of clubs Come for on. Aha. And for Boing, a six of clubs. That is the worst! Oh no! Oh my god! The tide is turning against our young elf heroes. Yeah. Let us see. Well, and also, aha. Uh -huh. Let us see what happens. Poof, you're up first. Oh, um, okay, so. so you scouted it out. You see uh, that aha uh -huh is down there teleporting in and teleporting out, uh, and grabbing some of the elves. Uh, <laughs> Boeing seems to be ripping the conveyor belt mechanisms apart. Uh, Achu seems to be running for the safety override. What would you like to do, Poof? Um, is there, uh, is, is it just total solid glass? Um, the plexiglass uh, containment unit has lowered down around the conveyor belt in order to prevent anyone falling onto it and being sent into the uh, incinerator. Is there anywhere, uh, like anything I can see that I can break the glass possibly? You could like, try and break the glass with something. I mean, yeah, you like are training hammer, elf jitsu. Yeah, like a hammer or anything around? Yeah, you could grab a hammer. Uh, give me a notice roll to see if you can find a hammer. Okay. And uh, let's say if you do find a hammer or something like that. This one too. Four and two. So a four? That's a success. Sweet. All right, so you cast about desperately and you find a loose crowbar up on the catwalk. You grab it and then vault over the side of the catwalk yes. rail, heading down for the floor, getting ready to smash open the plexiglass containment units. You will get a plus two on your next roll if you attack the units with this crowbar since you found one. Perfect. Well done. Next up, Boing. Okay. Um, this minus two is gonna change what I wanted to do. Don't let it. Don't let it. You're now right. I will say, remember it's a minus two, and also if you fail, the whole thing fails. Yeah. So you can choose to not take an action, mm -hmm. but if you do that, yeah. you're probably not going to get enough successes to save your elf friends. Okay. I, I, Boing, having ripped this gear out and seeing that it's not doing it, wants to use this moment to feel the Christmas spirit within him and within the machine itself okay. and compel it to do the right thing. <laughs> okay, now this is interesting because all elves know that all living creatures have the Christmas spirit inside of them. What, what Boing is trying to do is reach out to an inanimate object and inspire the feeling of Christmas in it. So what skill are you using to do this, Boing? I, I, I mean, I, I feel like uh, Persuasion would, I'm trying to convince I think persuasion sounds really yeah. good. Okay. Um, so you already have the complication that um, this is a machine you're trying to persuade to feel the Christmas spirit. So I'm not going to add any other negative penalty to that. You're already at a minus two and that makes sense to me. Yeah. So do what you can, Boyne. Okay. We have hypothesized this before, but if it's true, that changes everything. There's no way! It's not possible! <laughs> uh, ooh. It's definitely not. That's a three and a one minus two. That's a one at best there. I'm gonna try a re You're gonna re-roll it? All right. Yeah, I, I would love, I mean, these, it's a D4 I'm rolling it, plus my wild die, so it's not the best. But Good the chance, chance to ace! Oh, hey, there's, there's that ace! It. Nice. So that's uh, seven. Minus two, two. So that's a five. is a five. That's a success. <laughs> what do you What do you say to the machine, boy? I, 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 I go, please. I know deep down inside that you are, that you are a part of the Christmas spirit. You You have to be with all the joy that you produce every year in and out. You have to have some of that spirit within you and you must know that what you are doing is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! 
says the machine as it starts to put the brakes onto the gears, almost as though it's fighting with itself to keep the machinery from moving forward. It does appear to have responded to wow. your desperate plea. And because you have done the impossible, Boing, I will give you a plus two bonus on your next action in the wow. next round, because you're riding high on that impossibility hog right now. Hand in your card. Achu. Okay. You're running for the fail safe. Yeah. I see the machine say Merry Christmas and it freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I need to take it easy on yeah. this. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, uh, no, so I I get to the, the, the fail safe switch. I'm going to try and flip that switch if I can. Okay. Which will pull, hopefully, it's it's slow. We don't normally have to do it. That's true. But it. it Pulls the door down and raises the plexiglass up. I see. Okay, BSB Care, thank you very much for the tip. Oh, thank, thank you. you, BSB thank Care. you. Um, so, for pulling that fail safe switch, which skill are you going to use? Common knowledge. Everyone knows where the switch is. Okay, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. That is in the manual when you first get started on the workshop floor. So, give me a common knowledge roll, and because you are currently under the effects of your na nasal invigorator. <laughs> I will also give you a plus two for this action because uh, you're basically uh, seeing everything in slow motion around you while you're moving at normal speed. Oh, good. Oh, that's a crit fail. Wow. That's really bad. Are we playing Swade? We are playing Swade, oh, which no. means you cannot spend bennies no. to re-roll. But I can't However, spend However, re you can spend a re-roll to re-roll, which is good because that would have ruined one of your successes and yeah. knocked you guys down a peg. So re-roll that, and don't get another crit fail. Don't do it. Oh! No! <laughs> no, you were supposed to not do it! You crit fail twice in a row? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's I wrong have with to you? Keep it. What's wrong I with have you? To keep it. How, do you do, how do you not do it? It wants me to crit fail this. I mean, don't crit fail it. Okay. Please don't. Use all your resources. I can do this for the third one. We're done with the show. Don't do oh. it. Really close though. Yeah, really that close. is. And still not a success. You got a plus two though from your nasal invigoration, oh, so true. that is a success. Yeah. Yes. That brings your total up to seven. You guys are halfway there. Okay. Green die. I brought you in for festivities, and you're not. Shame on you. So vibrating as you run towards it, you hear Clang in the background shouting, although it sounds like he's shouting through molasses. Achoo, don't you do it? And you flip up the plastic safety guard and pull the lever down. But as you do, the the machine starts to shudder. It's already fighting with itself in the Christmas spirit, which is throwing the, the mechanisms into disarray. So the plexiglass shield starts to try and open up, but then seems to catch, leaving only a tiny little bit of fresh air, which thankfully keeps them oxygenated since the fire is burning up all of their air, but is not enough to get them out. And the stainless steel door that drops in front of the incinerator is now chomping down and up and down and up. You may okay. have made things worse. I mean, it's performing the way it's <laughs> meant to be performing. Yeah. That's good. Hand in your card. All right. We do not like toys. Aha! Uh -huh. Our misfits. Still wearing her- Timmy needs a toy! Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna get back in there and get more of them. You're gonna get another one. Yeah, oh, I can't see which one's blue. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, give me your elfish uh, engineering roll. Oh no, I'm gonna re-roll. Uh, that sounds good. There are elfish lives at stake here. I, I got a nine. A nine? Mm -hmm. But that's with a minus two because of the complication. Else? So it's only a seven. Mom! You really needed that raise, but you only get the one success. So you go in to do that. However, the, the fail-safe mechanism and the Merry Christmas spirit that the machine is feeling seem to be interfering with your quantum tunneler. You feel like you've activated exceptionally, and you're gonna be able to get multiple of these elves out, but something about the machine's malfunction seems to be interfering with your quantum tunneling. You're only able to rescue one of the elves, who is very appreciative initiative, but not alone. There's so many more elves. Oh, please, we're begging you! We're so close to the fire! We're gonna die before Christmas! Who made this machine worse? Somebody made it worse! Final round. 
That was that gear. Yeah. <laughs> Final round, yeah, elves. Hit. You hard. have eight successes. Right. You need six more in this round oh oh, wow. in order to save these elves. We average four. So. Hey. Four of diamonds for Achu. Queen of spades for Poof. Oh, Ace of clubs. Oh my god! <laughs> for young Aha over Ace here. First. And a 10 of hearts. Oh, you really could have used a joker, but you did not get one. So first up, aha, with yet another complication. All right, we're gonna get them this time. You'd better. Timmy needs a toy! <laughs> I love the dedication. <laughs> ace. Ace. You aced it nice. on a D10. Yeah, I got a 10. Which gives you two successes. Yes. You're only four away, elves, so this time, Knowing full well that there is complications from the malfunctioning machinery that's interfering with your tunneling, you compensate for that with a slight alteration in the pitch and tone of your voice when you shout out, Timmy needs a toy, which is of course the way you control your quantum tunneling right. device. And you are able to get more than one elf out this time, although there are still far too many trapped inside their tunnel of death. Next up, poof. Um, I'm gonna run over with the crowbar and with that little edge of air, I'm yeah. gonna try and crowbar it up. Just gonna crowbar it that up. That way they can like run out if we can squeeze out because we're tiny. We okay. We're tiny, so. That sounds like an athletics roll to okay. me. Okay. So you're gonna make an athletics roll, but you get a plus two because you found the crowbar in the previous round. Okay. So make that roll, poof. Mm, That's a six. Six? Six is one success. Oh. So you run over and jam the crowbar into the small gap and pull as hard as you can, prying some of it open. This one panel opens up and you're able to grab one of the elves as he's careening down the, uh, the okay. conveyor belt and you pull him out, but the rest are too far down there. You're not able to get them all out. There's still more than 10 elves in there crying and begging for their lives. Some of them closest to the fire have just gone silent. A look of serene understanding and acceptance on their faces. They're all holding hands like in Toy Story 3. They are doing that. Next up One of you has to is Boing. Boing, okay. Boing can do it. You guys have Boing. 11 successes. You need three before the end of this round. Boing sees the the the, the lifting and goes, <laughs> it's your time, Boing. And it, like, we'll grab also the edge and try and like also pull and say, come on, come on. And try All right, and lift. give us an athletics roll, Boing. And remember, you get a plus Ace. two for uh, somehow inspiring a machine to believe in Christmas. Yep. Uh, so that's, uh, so, 10, 12. 12? Why, that's a success with two raises. Ooh, Why, that's ah! three total. I look over, Wee! As you all watch. I do, strong elf? I do, I do a whole, like, Captain America thing where I, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his biceps straining mightily against the green spandex sleeves of his elfish working uniform. Is that boing he doing that? He presses it up and manages finally to push the plexiglass containment unit sides all the way up and lock them into place, allowing the elves who had accepted their death and their fate to come scrambling out of the conveyor belt. Around that time, the shutdown device that you activate, it seems to finally lock into place, and it does indeed shut down, sending oh. the alarms See, there into sudden much silence. See, on the conveyor belt. That's why it wouldn't work. If everyone had reviewed the uh, safety guidelines. Achoo! Shut up! Black We've just had a workplace emergency. This is Clang, of course, speaking. And just in case you couldn't you tell, when I was. These elves were about to die. I was trying to locate the manual override, but I would like to say. One of these elves just performed heroically. Who is, oh, it's Boing. Hey. Oh, well, good teamwork, everyone. Good teamwork. We successfully averted another workplace accident, so well, I don't have to change the I, zero to a one. Why did it happen in the first place is what I want to know, because you're the um, one who's supposed to be in charge here. Um, guys, uh, I actually saw that there's uh, some cold air coming from the top, so I'm wondering if it came from there. And every, does everyone look up at the skylight? Oh. Yes. Okay, As you do, that's right. you see it's still slightly ajar, and there's there's wind and 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 
flakes of snow coming through it, but also oh, something else falls down. What, what, what was that? Out of it. it looks like a what? crumpled up Everyone piece of paper. Back. <laughs> Everyone stand back. Yeah, let Boing get yeah, it. Since you're the hero, you should read it. I'm, a, I'm security. I'm here for your safety. Guys, I'd like to point out, he may have just been heroic, but he cannot do elfish engineering, and that will always trump anything that he does. At best, it's sort of like a, hey, good job, buddy. Yeah. No. The real POTUS 98, thank you very much for the reset. Hey, Thank you. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, it seems like... It's like a note. It says, Boing, can you even read? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Are we one of us? If you need help, I just, can, this, yeah. is, this is my job. Okay, just This is my job. Okay, Security's right. your I'm job, Boing, not reading. Yeah. yeah. And this is part of security. Okay, you can do it. Come Fair on. enough. I don't come where you, you work and slap the candy cane out of your mouth. Whoa. Okay, hey. cool. so Boing, I am your about. boss. <laughs> Let's be nice, Christmas. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I feel all like, I feel a little hot you, you from all that. Just read it! Okay, um, it says, uh, he, 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 ho, 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 uh, you take from us, we take from you. Our anger is full, well awakened. Uh, consider the agreement broken. Perhaps, prepare, love the Christmas goblins. Goblins? Everyone looks around confused at each other, but Clang, does not look confused. What? Clang looks concerned, and Clang grabs the note. Give me that. Okay. Fine. Is that I have to take this up to Santa. What? No, what? Hang you on. gotta tell us what's going on. No, no, I have to take this up to Santa. If this is, is very important. Security risk. I should know. I should be informed about it. Why? This... You never take anything up to Santa. Uh, well, I'm taking this up now, Ah Chu. Bless you. Bless you. However, at this point, I am another cookie in game. Another well. elf yeah. stands up. Every cookie that I eat. In the me. middle of the floor. <laughs> this is this elf is has kind of become the sort of de facto spiritual leader of all of you. This elf understands the spirit of Christmas more than any other. This of course is Unch. Unch. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, sorry. Wait. What? Before anything goes any further. Thunder Cabbage One, thank you very much for the resub. Thank you. Thank you. Lives were just spared this evening. That means it is time for our traditional elfish celebration. Before anything else must continue, we must give thanks to the spirit of the season <laughs> for this momentous, miraculous occurrence that has happened here tonight. And we will do that in our traditional elfish way with a working song. Oh, oh I love to sing. Because. Okay. You guys in chat unlocked the elf song. Oh, those are important to getting work done. And Unch is always about the songs, because Unch, 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 Unch. Exactly. What is that noise? <laughs> um, if, if you were younger, you would understand. <clears throat> well, I don't want to understand it. All right, we're about to. <clears throat> yeah. No, aha, ha, ha, I'm over there. Now, right, sorry. It's aha. Uh, yes, yes, aha. <laughs> As you know, what? I will lead us in with the traditional working song, and then all of us elves will sing what is in our hearts. I will toss up a soft ball to <laughs> one of you, and you will complete the verse with whatever is in your elfish heart. Okay, but Feel free to sing along if you remember the words, or you know where it's going. Don't. Elves have three hearts. We do? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. the, oh. don't throw actual softballs. I'm not as fast as I used to be. Oh, aha, you never cease to amuse. It wasn't a joke. And a one, and a two, and a three. Here we go, cause we work, work, work. work. We work, work all day. day. Making, Making presents, presents for Santa's sleigh. We work, work, through, the day, we work through, through the day, and we work through the night. Getting ready for Christmas, Christmas night. night. Boys and girls, they love games. And they love to play them with dames. <laughs> Boy, they love those dames, they do. Merry Christmas to all of you. Santa knows where they sleep. And he brings them toys to keep. Oh, well, like yes, that. he does. does. That's does his, his job. job. We keep he's him neat because he's kind of a slob. Mrs. Claus makes, makes nice, nice treats. treats. 
She loves to play with them in her sleep. Oh God, She's kind of weird, but she takes <laughs> her meds. Ha, 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 don't go to bed. <laughs> A Christmas time is almost here. But make sure that you don't hit a deer. Oh, because that. that'll totally destroy <laughs> your car. <laughs> then and you'll you have to drive, drive real you. far. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Are you because your car is ruined, you have to go. What's in the heart okay. doesn't always have to make sense, uh huh. That is what yeah. you have never understood about the spirit. Of Christmas. Well, that doesn't get toys made. Yeah, I, I agree with aha uh -huh here. All right, that's enough from you, Oonch. Now, we have very important business to attend to. I have to take this up to Wait, Santa. you have to tell us what's in the note first. That's not fair. Are you serious? He just read it. He did. He, like, uh, aloud to everyone on the floor. Yes. Well, I uh, think okay. she's making the comment that it was Boing who read it, so we wanted to make sure that that was correct. Good point. We don't even know if he can read. All right, Thank one you. moment. I appreciate yeah. that. Okay, it says, uh, he, 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 okay, and yes. who, 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 oh, hey. Boing. Oh. You oh. take from us, we take from you. Oh, it's a rhyme. We totally missed out on that the first time. <laughs> oh, see, this oh, is why no. I had to Our that anger that right. is full well awoken. <laughs> Consider the agreement broken. Oh, it's like a wrap. Oh. Prepare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like presents? Love the Christmas cup. Yes. Like, uh... Okay, thank you for... Yes, like, paper. Paper. like wrapping paper. Some of us okay. don't handle pressure paper. real well. Mm -hmm. Christmas Boy, goblins. Boy, that's okay. I just wanted to hear it. All right, all right, all right, everyone. That's, that's enough socializing. Back to work. Oh, wait, that sounds Fine. like something that I heard. No, 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 it doesn't. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. I'm going to run this up to Santa. Everyone, everyone oh, get wait, back to work. Wait, what are we going to... Let's get the music queued back up so that everyone can get back to work. Can I talk oh. to Oonch for a second? There we go. Get it going. All right, great, yeah, get back in the holiday spirit and get back up to work. And he just runs up the stairs all the way, like the spiral staircase that just keeps going for forever yeah, up to Santa's uh, to viewing platform and disappears into Boing Santa's office. Boing walk up to Oonch, like, pull him aside. I just want to say I, I really liked what you said about the Christmas spirit. And I feel like I, I'm, I'm really connecting with it. Uh, these days, I'm really, like, really trying to feel it in, in all things, not just living, but even inanimate objects. Even the toys can have Christmas spirit, I think. That's great, Boing, but I really can't be seen talking to you out <laughs> here on the floor. I, I I'll stand. Can, what if, like, we, we stand on, like, there's a corner, and I'm standing here facing that way? I don't know. I, I got a thing. Okay, okay. Thank you. Boing, you need to leave the shop floor. Mm -hmm. and Boing, you? you have to put back the gear. You can't take it. But it's a, it's, no, you, it's you a can't. Christmas No, movie. you can't. Uh, Chu, when Clang is not on the floor, uh, that makes you the de facto uh, foreman, so this is up to you. All right, all right, people. This is what we work for. Let's get it together. Get your gears in place. Okay, I'll put it back. I'll put it, um... Put it back. If you ruin um, what I'm working on... Which, um... Give me your going. It does, how do I fit it? It's so much easier to take it out. And as you go to put that back into place, we have some holiday festive toasts to attend to. Whoa. I'm in for life would like us to toast. Aha! Poof is in the pudding. Boing to put this here. Achu, bless me. I can't remember all of that. <laughs> Aha! Poof, Poof is, is in the pudding. pudding. Boing, Boing to, to put, put this, this here. here. Achu, bless, bless me. me. Ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. BSB Care would like us to toast. Let's try this again. Joyo Noel, Joyo Noel and Bon Anne. It's French. Yeah. yeah. Joyeux Noel. Joyeux Noel. Joyeux and bon, bon Anne. And Bon Noel. Uh, Anne. Anne. It's spelled A N N E E. Anne. There is no way that is. Sorry, guys. It's not. It's not on we. That's a different no, thing. Let's try this again. <laughs> Joyeux Joyeux Noel. 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 And then I. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. I love French. I do love French. Simath Pierncock would like us to toast. Mm. Jingle bells, Jordan tells good tales all the time. I love suede, you guys are great, not loving you's a crime. Hey! <laughs> Jingle, Jingle bells, Jordan tells good tales all the time. time. I love suede, you guys are great, not love and use a crime. Ho ho ho! Thank you very much, Sayyid Pirkan. Also, the real POTUS 98 would like to give a reset reroll to Diana. Oh! 
Thunder Cabbage One would like to give a resub reroll to of the GM. Ooh. Thank you very much bad for choice. that. Bad choice. And also, while we're on this little break here, while Clang uh, has a discussion with the big man upstairs, guys, they've unlocked the gift of bennies. What? What? So, for all of you, there's an extra Benny on the table if you recount to us your most treasured childhood memory of a Christmas gift you received. As, as an elf? Or no, as a no, no, as, as yourselves. Oh. As yourselves, it's sharing time. Tis the season, so who wants a Benny? Think about this. Yeah. No, no, it's your most treasured one. It should be top of mind. Uh, I have one. Yes. I always wanted a pink bicycle with little tassels, and I remember coming down, my parents always telling me I had the biggest smile on my face, and my eyes were twinkling, because I finally got my pink bicycle with my training wheels and little tassels. How old were you, 15? <laughs> wow. Give me my Benny. We've, we're friends from work, so yeah. we and have a pre-existing rapport. This is how he treats me. And then I, I can attest to that. Was like I also worked six. For you I were think. six? That's great. That's great. Have a Benny. Thanks, Jordan. Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays. Who else has one? <laughs> I have one. Uh, it, I, I still, to this day, I don't know how it happened, but we went to a mall Santa, and I remember specifically asking the mall Santa for a, a stuffed panda. Uh, for and I didn't tell my parents I wanted a stuffed panda. I don't know how, but that Christmas I got a stuffed panda, Aww. and I don't remember. I don't remember ever putting it on my list. I specifically just told Santa. Did you just haste? Have a Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Use my nasal okay. invigorator. Can I, this, Which you're coming down hard off of right now, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. This isn't like a Christmas present, but it's around. It's it's a really special Christmas. Event. I'll allow it. Memory. Okay, so uh, I was, I always stayed with my grandparents um, on Christmas Eve. My mom and I would always go and stay. And I was getting to that age which I was not so sure Santa was real. And um, I, my, my mother and I always slept upstairs in the upstairs rooms. Wow, this is great. Uh, and uh, we, we were getting ready for bed and I didn't really want to go to sleep. And then I heard something on the roof like something walking on the roof and I heard bells and my mom was like, that's Santa, you have to go to sleep or else he won't leave any gifts. So I went immediately to sleep <laughs> and I was like, there's no way, that couldn't be any, couldn't be my grandfather, couldn't be anybody, it has to be Santa. Maybe it was. Nasal invigorator. <laughs> have right. a Benny. Thank You're you. like, maybe it was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I, I don't have any. No? No, I do. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, there was one year, and uh, I was, I think, maybe 10 or 11, and um, uh, my dad was unwrapping a present, and I just said, what the hell is it? <laughs> and and uh, my, my parents were just like, don't say that. I'm like, what? <laughs> I apparently couldn't say what the hell when I was 10. And so it was, okay. a, big, it was a big thing about not being able, okay, I got another one. Um, <laughs> Wait, that's, that's not, the end of the story? Yeah, that's it. it was but what was it? What was it? What the hell was it? It, 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 was, it was literally, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. It was just, uh, he hadn't opened it yet. And I was just, I was like, the way I said it was like, open it faster. Right. But it was, it was just like socks. Yeah, just was, like a little 10 year old boy going, well, what the hell is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. that is exactly it. Yeah. Oh, it was socks? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it well, wasn't. that's a disappointing climax to that yeah. story. Yeah. And it was socks. Have a Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Dom loves socks. Though. Christmas. Yeah. Also, I just remembered I'm supposed to have a Benny for each one of you, so I'm what? just going to take those here. Oh. There we go. Thank you very much. That was the gift of Bennies from everyone. And Thank you guys. before we jump yes. in, one final toast okay. from oh. Time Kaiser. Mm -hmm. To the good times, to the better times, to the strange times that make you scratch your head. <laughs> to, to the, the good, good times, times. To, to, to the, the better, better times, times. To, to the, the strange, strange times, times that, that make, make you scratch, scratch your head. Ho, ho, ho! Oh. Thank you very much, Time Kaiser. All right. What else is everyone doing down on the floor in the aftermath of this uh, horrific event? A lot of those elves are crying and being taken off the floor in their trauma blankets. I'm uh, getting rid of the narrator point of view. It's difficult to remember. <laughs> and, uh... Like but on the whole, everything's returning to normal. Okay. Kind of. What day is it? Why, it's St. Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? What day is it? Like, what, where are we in Christmas time? It's December 21st. Okay. Plenty right. of time. We've done this before. 
plenty of time. Who do you think does all this work? If, my, if you guys don't get to work, then it's not plenty of time. So I can get help. to work. We, can, no, that's my not job. You. That's my job, uh-huh. Um, okay, well, get to it then, Archie. Let, them, re let them recover a second. I can give them candy canes so they can feel better. I do whatever you want with them. I just, okay. I, they um, almost here, died, here so. you go. It's some sugar. It'll help you with your energy again. I stared into death's eyes, Poof. I stared into death's eyes, okay, and there was just okay. nothing and I wrap, there. I wrap them up in a blanket and pull them. Okay, that's enough. That Thanks for the candy cane. You know, all us elves <laughs> this makes it better. at some point, so you might as well get used to it. Will all of you make a notice roll for me, please? Ooh, I'm good at that. I'm not. <laughs> This time it's oh, black. Like, oh, double A's. Double yes. A's. Okay. That's a success. Four's nice. all you need. I got a nine. Uh, and a nine. Two. Ace. Another, wow. Wow, you're acing it. Ace. A third ace. ace. Uh, so that's uh, uh, 14. 14, okay. Eight. Eight, nine. nine, and four. Poof, you hear from up in the office what sounds like uh, some sort of commotion. It's hard to tell what it is. The two of you can tell. It seems like you're hearing raised voices. However, the raised voice seems to be coming largely from Clang. And you, Boing, as a person on the outside looking in most of the time, hear that this is the voice that Clang tends to use, this whining, pleading, wheedling voice that he uses when he's not getting his way with the big man. So you have the feeling that something is about to happen. Yeah, I go, it's what he's doing, he's being apologetic. Oh no, it's standing there. Mm -hmm. Once again, <laughs> Boing is alone. And Clang emerges from the, the door up there. All right, all right, cut the music, cut the music, all right. <sighs> Will the following four elves please report to Santa's office? Achu. Bless you. What? Bless you. <laughs> oh, hit me. Poof. What, what, okay. Aha, uh -huh. and Boing. Uh, what? Why? I've got work to do if you want. Pressure. Everyone else, back to work! Clang! All uh, right, uh, you heard him, people. Back to work. Lady Amago, thank you very much for the tip. Thank, thank you, Lady Amago. Boing initially doesn't go because he's expecting there's another elf named Boing that he doesn't know about. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are the rest of you answering your summons as well? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you head up the long steps, the long spiral staircase up to Santa's office. Now, how many of you have actually ever been in Santa's office before? You, of course, have been. Aha, you've been around here for a long time. You're a, a valued member of the... I assume I have, right? Uh, you've, you've maybe not been in his okay. office so much. You go on field missions with there the big man, okay. but uh, you don't have a lot of uh, clerical work to, ha to take care of. The, the elf just dedicate most of the year to training. Mm. Uh, Boeing, you absolutely no, I've ne have never absolutely been up. Never. I don't even know if Santa uh, really knows your name. No, he doesn't. Um, and uh, Clang makes me do busy work. What's up? Clang makes me do busy work. So I often have to bring in like timesheets and accounting stuff to Santa. Clean his office when he's not there. Right, yeah, yeah. So I've, I've been there a couple of times. I've met the man. All right, so you guys walk up. <laughs> What's going on? And you open the door. What is Albert Einstein? And step into the Colonel office. Sanders? Yeah, yeah. No. Step into the office, and you hear a jolly old voice cry out, Well, go ahead and close the door behind you. Okay. And who is it at the desk? None other than Santa himself. <laughs> oh, what a quick transformation. <laughs> no, it's like magic. Santa. I love how oh. clear it is. Hello. Seems. Hello. I hear that I have the four of you to thank for averting another workplace incident on the factory floor. Well, if Glang was doing his job right, it wouldn't have happened in the first place, and it's taking me away from very important work. Well, now, aha, uh -huh. that doesn't sound very Christmas spirited of you. I am not the one who keeps the Christmas spirit going. I've got toys to make, damn it! Oh, right. That's Todd that does the Christmas yes, spirit. Yes, you need to talk to Todd about that. All right. Well, uh, did did we close the door? Is anyone... Well, I, I, I'm on the other side. It's like, oh, sorry. And I close it with me not inside. No, um... Uh, what's boing. Bo boing. Uh, boing! No, just, you as well! Just me, call him that Me as well? One. Please, come in! Oh, Go on okay. to the other side of the door. Oh, okay. Be in the office. 
Oh. And Jordan P. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Voodoo oh. King 75. Thank you, whoever Thank that you. is. Thank you, Jordan. And Voodoo King. And Voodoo King 75. Thank you. Wow. Sweet Jesus, you guys. We've unlocked the new last tier. Oh. oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, is the door closed? Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm told that the four of you were the only ones who actually stepped forward in order to try and help your fellow elf when everyone else was uh, running and fleeing. Well, we need plenty of elves to make toys. We can't do with getting rid of any. But it's not just about the practicality for the four of you, is it? I didn't really do anything. I I just talked to the machine and told it he should stop, you know, and believe in Christmas. Well, that's impossible. Uh, (laughs) Santa. But I respect your attempt. I just want, yep, yep, nope. Respect the attempt. Very, very good. Santa. Yes, yes. Uh, the Christmas good. spirit in all. Good. Okay, mm-hmm. just don't tell anyone, but of course I don't want to see any young elves die. That's horrible. That would be a horrible way to go. That's the f- so sweet. The fact that you have... It's sweet. Just, I just, I remember what it was like to be that age, and life was scary. All right. 200 years old? Stop, stop. It's 300. Thank stop, you. Stop it, stop it. Stop bickering, all of you. I have very important news to share with you now. I'm, I'm sure, since the note was read aloud, that you're all curious as to what that was about. Yes. But listen, I have a, a very important request of the four of you, since there doesn't seem to be many other people I can trust, and I, it seems like you have the well-being of your fellow elves and the, the pole itself at heart, so... Can I rely on the four of you to help me out with a one special holiday request? At sure. your service, yeah. Anna. Were I... these cookies for everyone? Oh, yes, of course, Boing. They're for every. I, I keep those in a bowl on my desk so that everyone can have one. Please help yourselves to a cookie or some. They're mostly for him for his Some milk with that. nutmeg in it. Uh, okay. I'm trying to put on my my welter weight and. <laughs> what? What is? What do you need our help with? So. Have any of you ever heard of the Christmas goblins before? I mean, it, it rings a bell, but I, I, I don't remember. I read, an, I read something about them once. What? I was told you couldn't read. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I think I can. <laughs> All right. I doubt Will it. both of you make a common knowledge roll for me, please? Yes. When I said I, I read about them, I mean the note I just read. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, then don't make a common yeah. knowledge roll for me. Uh, Aha is really the only one that makes sense to do it. A 13! A success with two raises. So, Aha, you do remember among the older elves hearing the term Christmas goblins bandied about from time to time, but uh, you always assumed it was just a story they were telling one another. I remember the elders in my day when I was young talking about goblins, but I just thought those were stories, you know, like the ones they told about walking two miles without shoes on in the snow. I'm afraid not, Uh aha. You see, the Christmas elves are, Christmas goblins rather, are very (laughs) real. Well, I know the elves are real. Of course you're real. I thought they were just stories. No. What, wait. See, everyone, Everyone thinks that the elves were the first workers that I had, but see, strictly speaking, that's not entirely true. Long before your people came across the ocean to the pole, I was in need of a workforce and sought them out in the peppermint caverns, where I would sometimes hear them singing and laughing in the darkness. The goblins, very intelligent. Magical creatures, whereas you elves are fiendishly intelligent workers of science and devices. The goblins are magic itself, a chaotic force that could just summon toys into existence from nothing. They were perfect. What? A completely willing workforce, able to work without materials of any kind. It was a beautiful partnership, and they were happy to help out. They loved the spirit of giving, but... After a while, the things changed. The goblins became convinced that the children didn't just deserve presents for nothing. No, they had to earn them. So the goblins began to challenge the children, testing their their wits, their intelligence. 
They began playing pranks on the children who were not smart enough, they said, to deserve their presence, and, and soon uh, they devolved into chaos. I was forced to fire them and send them back to the Peppermint Caverns where I oh. found them, and around that time, your people came from across the ocean, and we struck up an agreement that has lasted ever since, but the goblins and I have operated under a treaty of sorts. They do not interfere with my operation, and in return, on Christmas Eve, before I deliver our presents, they are free to test the children by stealing the gifts that their family members leave for them beneath the tree and leaving them clues and puzzles and, and riddles to see if they are truly smart enough to receive their gifts. And in return, I allow them to do this so that they allow my operation to continue. But it seems they are under the impression that this ancient treaty has been broken. Why, why would they think that? Well, I don't know. But the note says, you take from us, we take from you. And I don't know what that could be in reference to. I've always made sure that the goblins' every needs were attended to and that I left them completely alone to their own machinations. I don't know what they're talking about, but it seems like they're under the impression that I have broken the terms of the treaty and they're on the verge of declaring full-on war against the workshop itself a mere three days before Christmas Eve. We don't have time for a war. Santa, have you tried talking to them? Well, that's the thing. The part of the terms of our agreement are that I am no longer to go anywhere near the Peppermint Caverns. I am to leave them to their, their own goings on there. However, the treaty was formed before the elves appeared, so there is no such clause that forbids nice one. you all <laughs> from journeying to the Peppermint Caverns. Thank you very much. <laughs> that sounds like you could use a real security professional. We uh, could. Do you know one, boy? I, I am a security, I, I am your security professional. I oh, it, right, is it right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't yeah. know he's around. Oh, great! Oh, I do. Great, great, yes, yes. Um, but I need everyone to keep this quiet. Oh. If word were to get out about the goblins, uh, the children around the world who haven't already tangled with them might come to see Christmas Eve as something to be afraid of, and we can't have that. That would ruin the Christmas spirit. Also, I feel like the elves would... I don't know, perhaps see the goblins as a threat, uh, as a oh, group. Uh, that'd be like if Krampus came back. I, why right, not? yes, well, that's not allowed after that one Thanksgiving when he got sloshed. Uh, that well, was I, bad. I, we, we, we will certainly keep our mouths shut. It's not that anyone would even believe me if I told them what happened. I could tell them, it, you know, it snows on Christmas and they would, uh, they would check the weather report. Oh, we should check the weather report. Yeah, I don't, is it supposed to snow on Christmas yeah. this year? I had that might affect. But we have, there's more important things at stake. I need the four of you to journey up over the craggy mountain behind the workshop, through the mountain pass, down through the licorice forest, and to the peppermint caverns to treat with the goblins and see what it is they think that we have done, what act of aggression we have done, and see if you can Stave off this war. Can Santa, I rely on you? Uh, yes, absolutely, but no one's ever ventured past the Licorice Forest before. I know, we've only lived here for most well, of our lives. No one has ventured into the Licorice Forest and returned, you mean? Uh, yeah. Wait, who went into the Licorice Forest and didn't come back? Oops. Oops. Oops! Oh, oh Krampus! Oops. No, no. Oops and Krampus? No, Kramp Krampus is in the Bahamas now. Oh. oh. It was oops. just oops. It was oops. Oops. He made an oops. Yeah. Well, we assumed. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Or perhaps me. something made an oops to him. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, uh, can we at least take some reindeer? 
Uh, I'm sorry, I, the reindeer are on a strict regimen of diet and exercise and preparation for their time. It's going to have to be the four of you and Poof. Yes. We're going to have to run this as a black ops mission. All right, you got it. You know the protocol. I do. Wet works? Exactly. Real <laughs> burn after reading type stuff. <laughs> Okay. All right, I will disavow any knowledge of your mission should you not be successful. What else is now? <laughs> Wait, he what? just completely, like, doesn't even acknowledge you said anything. Yeah, okay. Well, but will all the toys be made if I'm not here? I think we'll manage somehow. I'll just get everyone to put in a few overtime hours. You know how much you elves like to work. Oh, well, we do, but they don't like to work as much as I do. I know, I know. You were pre-union days. I remember that. I oh. was. Oh, boy. Good times. Mm-hmm. Well, anytime you want to bust up those unions, as a security professional, I'm willing Sweet to... Sweet Jesus, boy. No, that's not me. I'm, that's not me at all. No, the unions are good unions, now. Unions, I'm very pro-union, boy. <laughs> I'm changed. What are you doing? Santa's in the Santa union. He's the only one. Santa, but... is there anything we need to know that's... Uh, something about the goblins that we should be aware of in case something happens? As I said, they're a tricky lot. So they're just tricky. Well, yes, and also they wield raw magical energy, so that can be, you know, uh, unruly. Okay. I mean, what's what's magic against technology, right? I uh, like your mind, Pretty you? Pretty dope, it turns I out, know, actually. Uh, how, can, but, how can magic ever defeat the Christmas spirit? Oh, that's true. Oh, that's the spirit there, Poing. I it's think a, it's boring. It, it doesn't matter. Oh, maybe it's I think that's what I said. T. It's okay. It's fine. I don't know. So maybe it's joy. Anything yeah. else? Anything else I can help you out with before you head out? I'm I'm afraid this is going to need to be taken care of immediately. All right. Okay. If not so sooner. Let's we get pack. going. Pack? No, yes. we have to go right now. Well, get get some of your things together and then and, and just whatever you need, but then quietly, very quietly. Surreptitiously, head out and and elves. Okay. May Christmas be with you. We're ready. And with and you, with Santa. You, and with you, Santa. Yes. And and yes, yes. Thank you. As this, uh, no, those are those are for. Uh, well, we need food. Yeah, but that, we don't need cookies. Well, I have a whole nother what bowl, so need? I guess that's fine. I eat cookies. Well, we have candy. Oh yeah, I have plenty of candy. But we might need both. All right. This okay, this sounds done. like planning that can be done outside okay, of my sorry. office. <laughs> Uh, I do still have work to attend to, but remember, if if you ever get in serious, serious trouble, this meeting never happened. Oh, oh, oh I thanks, thought, okay. Santa. You were gonna offer to, okay. Merry, right. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And you guys walk you back out be with you. onto the door. floor. Wow. Okay. Thanks for the, thank yeah. you, Cursed Spanish. Thanks, Cursed Spanish Santa. Santa. Kaiser, thank you for thank the sub. You. And Cursed Spanish Santa. Um, thank you. Everyone, make a notice roll for me. You got it. Noticing. Didn't notice. Oh, I noticed. Six. I, I, oh, I rolled again. Yeah. Roll it again. I noticed five. So five. Five. Seven. Seven. Three. Two. Two and three. I noticed the most. All right. So, a couple successes. No right. successes with a raise. <laughs> So you all walk outside, and uh, Clang comes walking down the catwalk. All right, well, what's the word? What do I need to pass on to the rest of the elves? Oh, nothing. Uh, to continue Christmas and making all the toys. You better make sure, Clang, that everyone gets those toys made in time. And you. All right, uh -huh. I, I'm your boss. Oh, he told us we should check the weather report. And you need to be a lot nicer, he said. You've been kind of on the naughty side this year. What? That's uh, what he said? Right? That's actually, that's, that's yeah. That's a borderline offensive thing that you've just said to another elf, so that's yeah. that's real bad. That's you mean. just called him the <laughs> N-word. Yeah, you, naughty. Yeah, naughty. 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 Wow. Uh, <laughs> I failed. Wow. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I guess I should go back to work. We don't all feel that way. We don't. It's not important. <laughs> just make sure the toys are made. All right, fine, I'm doing it. My job, you mean. Fine. Yes, do your job. I will. Good. All right, so what are you guys going to prepare? <laughs> uh, well, I've got all of my my uh, the quantum tunneling devices. It's very important. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, I'm also going to take uh, some twine. Some twine? In and case we need to cut down a tree. <laughs> yeah. And some coins. Okay. And um, this bottle opener. Absolutely. Yeah. Write all those things down that you're taking, those important things. Uh, I got my pipe. <laughs> and that's it. And that's I'll take, all I need. Uh, my hammer and tools. What, what would I would I take weapons? Uh, you don't have weapons. You are a weapon. I just fight with my fists. And yeah, I yeah. Got it. You are an elf jet. I'm a, right. Yes, elf jet. In this. Oh no, I didn't give you uh, martial arts. Okay, yeah, you do have a weapon. What is your elfish weapon? What is my elfish weapon? Mm-hmm. It can look like anything. Yeah. What do you use? It is a katana in the shape of a candy cane. I dig it. Yes, it is. It's a tiny elf weapon, meant for, for stealth more than brute force. So uh, you can write uh, candy cane uh, katana. You like I have a jack in the box. Nothing says stealth, like a red way. <laughs> it's a katana shaped like a candy yes, cane. Yes. Yeah, right. And I, also candy striped, but with steel. Yes. Oh. Yeah. See? Uh, it's hard to make. Boing has a very, very shiny, like pewter sheriff's badge that he puts on. Like he like spit shines it, makes it real nice. Uh, and he also has a small book about the the, the power of the Christmas spirit. That not not all. It's like a very fringe, like only like it's like a fringe sect. Like okay. they're really into this Christmas spirit book. <laughs> the 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 Christ scientists yeah. of uh, the Christmas spirit <laughs> books. Ed, your shiny badge is blinding me. It's so reflective. We have no Boing. actual law enforcement at the North Pole. You realize that, right? <laughs> John McLean, thank you very much for the tip. <laughs> thank you. Wow. Thank you. Listen, get those people. Yippee ki yay, Mother Falcon. <laughs> we'll watch. We'll watch some Twitch. Have a few Listen. laughs. Hmm? Listen, when when the stuff goes down, all right, you're gonna need me on that line, all right? Like you can't ha- you can't handle this. I have to have training for this. You guys don't know. I don't know what the threats I have to deal with. Boy, I believe busy. in you. What kind of threats have you had to deal with? <laughs> I have had to deal with things that you could only dream of. All right, Achu. Bless have you. you gotten stuck between two tunnels? in a void where you can't hear anything but your own thoughts for a hundred years. Um, we really shouldn't be comparing our uh, life experiences right now. We have to Hey, go. are you guys comparing life experiences uh, no. instead no. of working? No, we're not, dang. No. Oh, well, dang. <laughs> I was gonna add some good life experiences to share, but I guess not. I mean, if you really want to, no. you can go. No, no, oh, we gotta go. We gotta oh, go. I can. We gotta, um, yeah, I can no. if there's time. Don't get back Don't get to dang work. Started. Ah, get dang. Dang, I'd actually really like to hear it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm no, gonna make no, signals go. from you. <laughs> um, no. It all started uh, back okay, in the let's spring. Just of... leave. Okay. All right. So you guys have all your stuff together. Yes. And you leave Dang monologuing over in the corner to no one in particular. Yes. Yes. As you walk out into the cold, forbidding snow. Uh-oh. Modern Joe, thank you. Modern Joe, thank, thank you, you very Modern Joe. Um. And let's uh, let's raise our glasses okay. as as you elves venture out into the world. You can't see it because we lifted it. So oh high. wow! Yes. Um, raise your glasses. Cursed Spanish Spaniard would like us to toast. Have you heard the tragedy of the Christmas goblins? I thought not. It's a tale the Elfty would tell. <laughs> Have, Have you, you heard, heard the tragedy of the, the Christmas, Christmas goblins? goblins? Uh, I thought uh, not. not. It's not a tale the Elfty would tell. Set them up and ho ho ho. Oh, <laughs> I did, and John McLean would like us to toast. Oh, whoa, are you okay? Mm-hmm. He almost. How did there? He almost goofed it, but I didn't. But I didn't. What are you happening? But happens? that's not what he said. <laughs> but I didn't say whoop. <laughs> um, John Holy McLean crap. would like us to toast. Ho ho ho! I have a machine gun now. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. I, I have, have a machine, machine gun, gun now. now. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. 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 Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. All right. <laughs> out into the winter snow. The cold night stretches out we in front dashing? of you. The stars twinkling. Well, that's up to you. Uh-huh. You see the forbidden slopes of the craggy mountain, and up above the jagged <laughs> crease of the craggy mountain pass that leads over the mountain and into the licorice forest. Now, as elves, you are naturally resistant to the cold. That's 
just part of your biology. So you don't worry too much about the, the cold, but still, this is the furthest you've ever ventured away from the workshop, apart from when you go around the world to uh, deliver toys. That's it. I take one more step. It's the furthest I've ever been from home. Oh, shut up, Boeing. Yeah, shut you up. said that every step of the way. It's really, we gotta hurry. So uh, I'm gonna say that, and then she's just gonna slowly start walking. And trudge, 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 Come trudge, on. trudge, trudge. Get a move on! We're like 30 feet in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! So you guys are trudging up the side of the craggy mountain. All right. So you take some time, and it's a little bit rough going. Can I get an athletics roll from everybody? Now remember, uh, if you'd like, you can always try and support your fellow elf as oh, nice. well with a roll. But uh, I'm sure you're all ready to do some uh, athletic climbing. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not good. Oh yeah. You're acing it. Wow, you guys are all doing well except for Poof. Poof. Yeah. How, 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 does, how do I assist? Uh, well, you can make a roll of whatever kind. Depends on how you're assisting her. Okay. Um, so, uh, can I just be like, like, pulling her along with me? Like, you want to literally, yeah. literally pull her up the mountain? Yeah. Did you? What did you get on your roll, by An the way? An eight. An eight. Oh. So you got a success with a raise, so I will say yes, you can assist her with this. So go ahead and make a uh, another athletics roll, and every success or raise you get is going to add a plus one to her roll. Uh, so one success. Okay, so that's a plus one, which gives you a three. Poof. Oh. Which is not going to be enough. So everyone goes trudging up the mountain. However, poof, as she was being hauled up by Boing, because she was starting to slow down. Uh, you're not used to trudging through snow. No. You're a light rooftop dancer. Yes, and chimneys. Mm-hmm. But you stumble yeah. in the snow, mm-hmm. uh, partially because Boing is pulling you uh, like a little bit harder than he should be. In the and snow. you fall backwards and roll down and roll over a little gravelly patch and some uh, some rough chunks of ice. You get a few bumps and bruises oh. on you, poof, which is going to give you a level of fatigue. Oh. So you are at minus one to all of your rolls yeah. until you get a chance to rest and uh, regain some of that okay. energy you've lost. Okay. But throughout all of that, you all manage to uh, keep climbing up the mountain. Have any of you heard stories about the craggy mountain? Yeah. I have not. I don't know. Yeah. Give me a common knowledge roll to see if any of you have heard stories about the Craggy Mountain. Well, actually, there's a chance I could have, because people would talk without knowing I'm there. Right, so. you see and hear a lot. Ooh, that's a crit fail. A crit fail. Uh-oh. I'm doing great, guys. Mm-hmm. I got a five. Nice. I do not know anything about it. No? Seven. A seven, a five, crit fail, and a failure. Mm-hmm. So you both have heard stories about some sort of fearsome beasts that live up on the craggy mountain. They're not known by any name other than the snow beasts, Mm -hmm. but sometimes, late at night, down in the bunks, you all hear these loud, mournful cries from up on top of the craggy mountain, and it could be the wind, but it could be something big, something hungry, something waiting on top of the mountain. That's not the story you've heard, though, Poof. You've heard that there's a witch up here that grants wishes. Oh. And when you when that sound at night is her blowing into her wish horn, <laughs> just uh, granting a wish every time. Every time you hear that mournful cry, that's the the witch of wishes, the wish witch, wish blowing witch. into her wish horn, granting wish, another wish, 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 wish for wish. any elf who's brave enough to oh, journey up the mountain me. and wear a red sash denoting themselves as a wish seeker. It also helps you stand out in the snow. Nice. So uh, you, of course, mm. grab, grab a red strip oh, of fabric yes. and tie it around yourself. Do it really quickly. <sighs> now you shine bright in the night snow, more so than any of your other fellow elves. Why, you look like you've got a shiny target on your back. Bohemian Galaxy, thank you very much <laughs> thank you. for the tip. Um. And as you guys continue to climb up this mountain, you do indeed hear a distant sound. Oh. Boing, was that you? No, we're getting close! No, I didn't make any noises. What? There's a wish witch! It's just gonna grant us wishes! <gasps> what? There's yes, that, that's the wish witch! No! Yes! No! Yes! Oh. Shelter. 
her somewhere. Well, but I really want to meet her. I don't think you want to meet oh. that. It sounds like it's getting closer I as you get... near the top of the craggy mountain. I think that we should find a oh. cave. Okay. No, we need, to, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. No. That is not common sense. Where is your brain? What? Achoo, don't you believe me? It's getting very close. You've only moments to decide. You feel like it's going to be upon you, whatever it is. So what are you trying to do? Let's hide in the snow. She's just going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> give me a stealth roll. And I'll give you a plus one because it sounds efficient. Uh, okay. Oh my god, good. I got a six. A six? All right. So, as she is known to do, kind of like an ancient turtle, Aha just falls face down into the snow. The back of her clothing is, of course, all painted completely white. Uh, <laughs> this is something she designed, and she immediately just blends in with the snow around her. What is everyone else doing? Um, I'm waiting. Oh yeah, you're waiting for the wish witch. Yes! Um, I want to uh, begin looking through my Christmas spirit book to see if there's anything about this in there. Okay, uh, give me a research roll. Okay. Um, do you have research? I do not. You so do not. So this is a d4 minus two plus your wild die. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be a one. Okay. Ooh. Table of contents, table of contents, table of contents, table of contents. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of contents yeah. in this book. Um, I'm going to try and save you. Because I, I don't... But not Boing. But not yeah. Boing. <laughs> oh, oh, you're still here. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab you and go like, what are you doing over here? And drag her off. Like behind a bush or... Behind or, a bush. Yeah. All right, give me a stealth roll at a minus two, both because you're dragging someone who doesn't want to be dragged and also, is there a bush? I don't know. Let's see. There's got to be. It's like it's the forest. I feel like I read something. Uh, that's a three. That's I'm a failure. Oh, eat it. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. Spending a delicious Christmas, Benny. Ooh. Crit fail. Can't reroll oh that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So you, or do you want to spend your last reroll to reroll it? No. I want to see what happens. All right. So you reach out to grab her, and instead you grab the sash. And she's yanking back and resisting your pulling, and somehow you manage to get tangled up inside of the sash attached to her back somehow. So now you're struggling in the sash, and both of you are wriggling around like a worm on a hook wearing a bright red sash. Poof, you, you have to undo the sash. Because and then suddenly something blots out the moon and the stars as a gigantic shape just crashes down in front of you. Snow flies up in a flurry from its weight just crashing down into the snow, and you see a huge black shape against the night with red glowing eyes, crossed eyes, actually, and you realize this isn't a snow beast. This is a dreaded cross-eyed yeti. Cross-eyed? <laughs> what are you elves doing here? <laughs> Hi, witch. I am here to eat any elves that come up on the mountain, and I see one, what? two, what? three elves that are about to get eaten. <gasps> oh, uh, well, let's go. Hold on. Do you grant wishes or no, not? No, I need a fear roll from all of you, except oh. for you, because you are, the sound is muffled by the snow and you're also face down in it. So you're going to make a spirit roll. Everyone's going to make spirit. a spirit roll, whatever your spirit attribute is, with your wild die. Okay. Any negatives there? No negatives. Eight. It's just a scary cross eyed yeti. Eight. 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 Eleven. Seven. Seven. Wow, you are brave oh, young minus elves. One. Sorry, six. Six. That's right, still a success. You all resist fleeing in terror or doing something else even more destructive. However, this thing seems angry, it's very large, and despite its uh, somewhat unintelligent looking demeanor, it does seem like it really does intend to eat all of you. Which one of you wants to get eaten first? Boink steps forward and he goes, Oh, great cross-eyed uh, yeti, uh, I beseech you, uh, in the what did you just call me? The cross-eyed yeti? Oh, don't point. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I am a yeti. Proud and true. A yeti unlike any other. Yes. A majestic example of my species. You Is are. You will be first to be eaten. I don't know where he's He says, to pointing into the middle distance between all of you. Oh, this is great. All right, you guys are nearing uh, a combat here. Great, Sir Yeti. I beseech you to, to think we are on 
the most holy of missions in the name of the great Christmas spirit to restore balance to, oh, to everything. Christmas is, in, is threatened. I don't much care for Christmas. Christmas hasn't ever done anything for me up here on the craggy mountain. But we brought you presents. Yeah, candy canes. I have tons of them. Here you, you guys go. brought me presents? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, so I need a persuade roll from you, but before you roll that, I want you two to make a persuade roll as well. That seems like what you're trying to do. You're trying to persuade. So give me a persuade roll to see how well your offerings are received. You're gonna be supporting. Ooh, double, Ooh, double aces. That means you get to roll them both, both oh, again. Yes. Oh wait, but you should be rolling a d6 with that, not to, uh, yeah, you one's always, a d4. You always, you always get a d6 to roll with everything. Your wild and die then, is always And then a whatever d6. this die is. So it's d4 for persuade. Yeah, oh. d4 for persuade and, and then your d6. wild die. So five? So five, but you already you rolled a four, with, so. Yeah, you can re- re-roll. So roll both of these? Nope. Just the one. one. Sorry. That's all right. It's your first time. Yeah. Yeah. So five, five right. either way. So that's a success, and what did you roll? A uh, two. A two, all right. So you're gonna get a plus one to this persuade roll. Uh, Woo, ace. Yes. Uh, so nice. that's gonna be uh, 12. For being a shamed elf, you are rolling really well. Uh, yeah. So a 12, is that with the plus one? Yeah. Okay, so ooh, that was a clutch plus one then. All right, so the, uh, the cross-eyed yeti is going to see if he can resist. Mm. That's a mm. one and a three. Wow. Mm-hmm. You, you brought me a present. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um I hope you like cookies. And candy canes. The spirit of Christmas is with all of us if we let it in. Yeah. I don't even know if I like cookies or candy canes. Everyone. All I eat are frozen squirrel carcasses. C- come on, everybody, let's bring it in. Uh, no, hold on, I can't uh, I can't accept this gift. You see, I, I'm I'm not normally this angry. It's just you see my brother Larry. He, he fell in a hole through our hot spring, oh. and I, he's been in a cavern underneath the ground, and I haven't been able to get him out, and I'm cranky and scared. Do you, oh, it's okay. And he's stuck in the cavern. Do you want some help? Yeah, we can oh, try God. to help you. You oh, guys should help me? Yeah, I mean, it, I guess yeah. it's hard. Yeah, we I mean, can we're elves. See. It's kind of what we do. Yeah, yeah, we help everyone. You, I mean, He'll get my brother Larry out. I'm gonna stand up and go, oh well, I can just yes! teleport him out of there. It's okay, she's really nice. Teleport? It's called, uh, well, it's called quantum tunneling. It's the, teleports the layman's term. Uh, you can only quantum tunnel yourself, unfortunately. But couldn't I, couldn't I utilize Great, plot holes, too? fine. <laughs> Because you did it earlier, so sure. <laughs> but couldn't I like? Fine. Put it I already said fine. Okay. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I'll take you well, for an answer. Okay. You'd, you'd help me. Yeah. 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 If you won't. That's eat what us. Christmas is all about. All right, well, little elves, I won't eat you. Here, come with me up to my cave, and I'll show you the hole that Larry fell into. Okay, let's oh, hurry. And he goes loping up the side of the mountain. Are you guys following after yeah. him? Yes. Yeah. Now would be a great Wait, time to run if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, we're still, we're, we're we're still stuck connected. together. Yeah, you guys are still stuck together. Okay. So you're just we, kind of like wriggling like, up the there. The elven sack races have, yeah, yeah, have yeah. trained us very well for oh, this yes. sort of thing. Can I pick up uh, <laughs> Aha and like, hey, come on, Aha. <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> Give me an athletics Team, roll. It's teamwork. Mm-hmm. We're, we're doing teamwork. Uh, uh, eight. Eight. Yes. Yeah. You can pick up aha. Uh-huh. Ah! You're a bit brawny for an elf. Why are we going? It's, it's one of those like fast. cartoon things where I'm holding her out like this as I run. <laughs> and you guys run after uh, the cross-eyed yeti as he runs up into a giant ice cavern and beckons for you to follow him inside. And you run up into it and you hear a distant sound that sounds like uh, hellish. It, it, it sounds like there's something. Something else happening in this cavern, and as you walk back, you see steam issuing from the back of it. He's like, down there! He felt that this used to be our hot spring, but it melted while he was in it, now he's down. Larry! Yeah, Harry! Are you still down in that hole? Yeah, I'm still down in this hole! He's still down in there! All right, let me just... Can you help him? Yeah, Yeah. can you just tell him not to eat us as well? Oh, right! You don't Um, need me. Hey, Larry! What is it, Harry? Uh, Some elves came and they're gonna help you out. Don't eat them! 
Okay, but I'm real hungry because it's been like a week. Well, um, uh, candy canes. Here, I've got candy canes. Oh, that's great. Throw some candy canes down there. Here! And I throw like five. Ow! Oh, sorry! <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, candy canes! They're delicious! Thank you! You're welcome. These will save my hunger! Okay. <laughs> All right, so you see down below, and there appears to be some sort of underground volcanic cavern uh, underneath their ice cave. You can see another cross-eyed yeti down there, although his fur is all wilted and droopy, and he seems to be sweating profusely. <laughs> he's got dark circles under his eyes, and he's just sitting on a little uh, island of rock surrounded by lava, uh, maybe about 50 or 60 feet down in this cavern. These candy canes really are a hidden spot. Okay. Hey, yeah, there, Larry, they're coming. Okay. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go down there and try and teleport him back. <laughs> okay. Can I can I look around for things to maybe construct a like pulley system or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. Cause uh, and when, while you do that, give me a notice roll for that. Um, you're smart enough to know, Aha, that your tunneling uh, device only takes one person. Mm -hmm. So you can get down there, and you can uh, get him out. But then you'll be stuck down mm -hmm. in the in the lava flow, and you won't even have your tunneling device with you. Mm -hmm. So you can get down there for sure. Getting both of you out, that's going to be a bit trickier. Well, if I can just go down there and show him how to do it, and then you throw my tunneling device back down to me. Although there's a good chance it would <laughs> fall in the lava instead. Okay. You I could I could take it down there and then and then bring him. Then he can come and use it up, and then you guys can help me up. You can't touch my tunneling device. You'll I got a four. You got a four? So you look around. Uh, they seem to have collected some weird stuff. There's some broken boards. There's a little bit of like rotten looking rope. Uh, it's not ideal, but you see like some stuff that you could build a very rudimentary, although potentially unsafe, uh, sort of rigging system that could assist in this matter, but it's not going to be able to help anyone on its own. I could help make that with my driver. Oh, that's right. You've got MacGyver. That's right. So you need uh, you need to take those materials, which are here available, and since you are a bit of a master tinkerer, uh, you can <laughs> attempt to make a uh, useful device out of it. All right. So uh -huh. give me a repair roll, MacGyver. Okay. Aha. Maybe uh, maybe you put some of these things together. Poof. You help me yeah. uh, with the construction as well. Sure. And uh, boing. Mm hmm. Inspire All right, us. let's go. Uh, okay. All right, so do you I guys want to try? Great book. I'd like to try to assist. To assist? Yes. Do you want to try and support as well? Yes. Okay, so for this, I'm going to need specifically repair rolls from you guys. Uh, although it sounds like Boing, you are going to try and use a persuade roll to read from the Book of <laughs> Christmas Does Spirit. Have a favorite passage? No, just don't <laughs> say it too loud. Oh you're, no, eat it. Eat that, Benny. I can't not try to hand it to you. I know. Wow. Wow, you're not making it there, Achu. What'd you get, Poof? I rolled a four, but I have to do negative one. So oh, don't forget, you just need to roll a d6. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. So, um. See? Hey, you also based no, on you both roll, of those. Both of so, you reroll both of them. So, you so got a, a ten. Ten minus one is a nine. So, that's a plus two that you're going to get to your nice. roll. Okay. And that's actually the maximum support bonus oh. you can get. But you can still well, go yeah. and read from the book. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I think it's better that no one else is paying attention to me. It's, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's okay. Okay. He did have the Christmas spirit after <laughs> all. <laughs> Christmas is when all of us got it. Keep it going. Keep it going. I need it. Even though. Who are very small but and very good. large. So what'd you get? I got a two, but plus two. Plus two, two is a four. a four. All right, so with so with the help of all of them, and also Boing For is in the corner is reading a book. And you're is good. being quieter with Sorry. that. Uh, you managed to put together what looks like uh, the kind of uh, rigging where you would lower a bucket into a well. <laughs> uh, you're, you were actually able to unravel some of the rope and double its length that way uh, while still maintaining structural integrity, which uh, gives you, gets you about halfway down into the into the cavern. Um, so that's that's what you've got here: a pretty decently strong rigging system with a rope that can lower about thirty feet down. Uh. I have some twine. 
Oh, you have twine? You didn't mention that. No, okay, I and you got a success can't. on it, so uh, that's going to get you about 50 feet down, so just about 10 feet above oh, the I Yeti. Have 50 feet of rope. No, you don't. <laughs> you can't carry 50 feet of rope. <laughs> that I would destroy you. I have a jack in the box. If we take out the spring. You did specifically elong- say you had a jack in the box. I, I remember the, that. And we elongate the spring. Yep, you're the MacGyver. That's I right. Get us a bit further. So that's not going to get a Yeti to climb out of this pit, but it would be a strong enough. Uh, uh, suspension system for an elf like uh, yourself. Okay, I'll go down there with my... Can I bless this uh, pulley system? Please do. Oh, no, don't touch it. You'll <laughs> ruin it. He's not going to touch it. He's going to bless it. Yeah. He's okay, going to use his inspiring words. Yeah. Do it far enough uh-huh. away. Okay, so hold on real quick. Before you bless that, what is the plan here? You're going <laughs> to you're gonna tunnel down there. Mm-hmm. Um, and by the way, uh, every time you use these things, it does cost you power points. What? Yeah, I know. Um, you all have 15 power points, which I should have mentioned at some point. Um, however, at this point, hold on, all of your power points have regenerated. Okay. It's okay. been enough time, so, but just remember from now on. Behind. Not this one. That's a, yeah, a pencil? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right, so you're gonna tunnel down there. Mm-hmm. Then, you're going to attach your quantum tunneling reef to uh, Larry, uh-huh. and activate it and send him back up here. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to climb up this rope. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is a very aha centric uh, situation here. So your blessing is going to be a support role for this. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no. <laughs> so you just continue to drone endlessly I'm from like, the Book I'm of like, Christmas like, Spirit. I'm like kneeling by the by the the, the, the rope where it's like supported against the wall. It's like, please, bro, you are saving Christmas this day. I need you to know that you are important to me and that I love you. Keep talking to the rope. <laughs> he is, and the rope says nothing. There's more that's wrong with him than You don't not. have to say anything. I think yeah. Timmy needs a toy. Are we ready? We're ready. Yeah, we're, we're ready. ready. We're ready. Get ready, Larry. Tammy needs a toy. <laughs> All right, make your elfish engineering roll. Woof. That is a failure. Oh. Eat it. I can't. Somebody else eat it. I'll eat it. I'll, I'll, I'll jump on this grenade. Oh, jeez. Oh this is a four. A four. Plus? No. Uh, no. Nope. Straight. Which gives you just 60 feet of movement, which is exactly <laughs> what you need to disappear with a aha uh-huh, and reappear with an aha. Uh-huh. Oh, Christmas! Ah. Uh, here. Oh my gosh, you smell delicious. Oh, oh, no, no, me, Ross. Right, right. Well, I'm sorry. Time. Okay, you have to. What happens? Put this on. It's bright. Yeah, it does that. Okay, did I eat this? No, no okay. I eat it. You you have to go, Timmy needs a toy. Poof, and he's gone. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna climb up. Uh, give me a weird, uh, or I'm sorry, an elfish engineering roll to activate weird that again. elfish engineering. I'm ready to. <laughs> five. Roll five, okay, so that's 10 of your power points for this <laughs> that have been used. You have five left. 10? Yeah, it's five points each time you cast uh, teleport. It says two. It's two points every time you cast teleport. Jeez. Oh, mine's five. Yours is five. Mine? mine? I, you actually didn't write anything on mine? That's because you're not good at it. Okay. Oh. Um, and the Yeti pops back up, leaving you alone down here. Harry! Larry! I chill. Poop, make sure you get my tunnel. Bless you. Oh, yeah. So you reach up for the the jack-in-the-box and just grab onto it, and you guys are cranking her up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't see any reason why you would need to make a roll for this. This is a very well-constructed crank, and uh, someone was even reading from the book while it was happening. we make everything fun. (laughs) So you guys pull her back up. She gets returned her quantum tunneling device. Just the same. Oh my gosh, you elves! I can't thank you enough for saving my brother. And I can't thank you enough for saving me. Is he cross-eyed too? What? Oh, no. I'm sorry. We're I'm... both just normal yetis. Oh yeah, you're both lovely. Yeah. Well, maybe you you're can the, help you're the us. Most, you're the most interesting yetis I've ever met. Bright. I have a headache. Oh. We're <laughs> in the middle of something. 
Uh, have you by chance seen some goblins? You mean the goblins that live over in the peppermint caverns? Yeah, oh, the very same. Yeah. Yeah, they came through here not too long ago. Well, why? Now, is that normal for them to do? No, they never come this way. Why did they do that? I don't know, but they seemed mad. I don't like them. They got scary eyes, and they don't have any mouths, which freaks me out. Well, yeah, that's pretty freaky. Well, uh, okay. Did they come back this way? I don't remember seeing because I was too busy trying to throw a fish down to Larry. Mm. And I didn't catch the fish. It fell in the lava. Oh. Well, you've got, I've been very hungry. Well, you've got candy canes. I know. Great. I can leave you some more. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Sack of How many sacks of candy canes do you I have? I have a lot. Okay. We'll say you have one left. Oh. <laughs> you just gave away a lot of candy well, canes to this Yeti. Fine. Ah, uh, okay. These well, are great. Maybe we should go. Thanks for helping us out. You guys are nice. Oh, yeah. thank you. You two, both of you. We'll be sure not to eat you if you ever come back over the mountain. Okay. I like that that's, promise. That's good. Okay. That's good. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Yeah, okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's Christmas that's spirit that's is in you. You just have to look okay, for boing. it. Okay, Boing, enough is enough. Oh, you're being scolded. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> Let, let's go. Okay, wait, are we still stuck together? Yeah. No, no, you guys, have, just... you guys have gotten uh, <laughs> extricated at this okay. point. I just imagine at some point I came along and like cut it. Sure, sure. It's just like, what are you doing? Man, that Jack in the Box can do everything. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I just feel like you guys are, you guys uh, don't seem to be uh, interested in the Christmas spirit. I noticed that you guys don't, um, you don't talk about the spirit of Christmas uh, at all. And I just wondered uh, why, why that was. It's because you're talking about it. It's true. Sometimes it's the messenger. Yeah, in this case, it's the messenger. Okay. You guys, you guys believe in the Christmas spirit, right? Of course okay. we do. Okay, I'm just checking. It's just you guys don't seem very committed to it, is all. Wow, we're having intervention again. So you guys emerge from the cavern <laughs> having this very intense disagreement among elves because everyone knows at the holidays you don't talk about politics and you don't talk about religion. <laughs> Boing. Boing doesn't know this. So These as, are prime this, tenets of the Elvish culture. This is the most he's ever talked to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and now you guys are finding out why. Um, so as you leave the cavern and back out into the icy cold, you see down below you, not as far down, the trip is going to be a little bit less long going down the side of the mountain, but the very dark and foreboding licorice forest spreads out beneath you and past it, just a glimpse of the, the shining red tips of the peppermint caverns. But this forest sure does look dark. It's black licorice. It is black licorice. Oh, and it smells awful. Yeah. I now, uh, Voodoo King, I think we missed you. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. Also, uh, black licorice is delicious. Don't listen to these fools. Okay. Um, do we have a light source of any kind? I, I have a shiny badge. Oh, I know. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> well, maybe if we took some more of the wire from the jack-in-the-box and if we just loop it together in a particular way, we can take the batteries out of this wind-up car toy that I have and just hook them to the wire <laughs> to create a light. I like it. Like a light bulb. Give me a MacGyver roll. <laughs> oh, like in the song. Yeah, like Rudolph. He hates that song. Oh, don't I know. It <laughs> but it's Boy, true. don't sing it. It doesn't make it any less true. He kicked an elf almost to death for singing that song <laughs> yeah. near him. Um, give me a repair roll. Repair. Don't forget there's a table re roll. Oh, there is. Okay, that's fine. Air spinning is spinning. Okay, seven. Seven. Ah, oh, it's a pity you didn't get an A, but you you <gasps> snip some of the wire, rendering your jack in the box much less effective at this point, and connect it to the wind up car battery, which, despite being a wind up car, still is battery powered, and it does kind of give off a soft filament, yeah. a Ooh. soft filament glow, okay. a very soft, soft, not harsh glow, 
directly into the eyes <laughs> of your friends. I did it. it it's oh, working. Good job. Yeah. And you shine guys, it on my badge. Uh, yeah, shine it on his badge. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's too bright. I don't know why you have to polish that thing. You head down into the licorice forest. And as the the large, swirly black trunks of the licorice trees close in around you, it deadens the sound of the snow outside and becomes this very quiet, dark, silent place that you feel like trespassers in. And as you walk, even your conversation gets muted and stilled, for it feels like some sort of heresy to speak any words in this silent, empty place. Something runs through the trees and the licorice grass off to your side. Is it licorice grass, too? You think it might be oops? Oh, no. Keep your voice down. What? Keep your voice down. What? <laughs> Something runs <coughs> on the other side behind you as you continue Sorry. on this path. Have some hot cocoa. Everyone make a notice roll for me. I aced it. Woo! Mm. Oof. Seven. Seven? Five. Five? Uh, ten. <coughs> ten. Excuse me, I rolled a five, but it's a four. Okay, so everyone succeeded, unfortunately. You all look around for the source of noise, and as you whip your heads around, you see what look like two pools of shiny blackness staring back at you from the dark, and as they blink, you realize their eyes before they fade from sight. I need a spirit roll from all of you, because you all saw it, <coughs> to resist the fear creeping up your spines. Ew. Five. Four. Four? Do you get a six. six. You're re-rolling? Yeah. You don't want to eat this? I'll eat it. Here we go. Uh, it's 11. 11. You all manage to stand your ground, but you definitely feel like there is something in here with you. You are being watched. Oh. Who's there? Um. I just want to say, all we have is hot cocoa, chocolate chip cookies, and candy canes on us. So if you are looking for money, we do not have any. But elves don't carry money. Exactly. <laughs> but we are rich in spirit. Shut up, boy! <laughs> <laughs> No response. All right, I will take that as confirmation that you will not try to jump us. We are just going to continue walking forward. All right. So you continue forward? Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas to you. Your cry rings hollow <laughs> in the silence of the forest. <laughs> and as you continue on, you can't help but shake the feeling that you are definitely being observed, but you don't see or hear anything else until you see light at the other end of the forest, the snow and the stars peeking through as you reemerge out into the winter night. We actually oh, made me. it through this forest. Yeah, well, it was easy. Oh, well, so far. It's the Christmas spirit, is it? Ow! It protects us. Yes, it does. Right? We're on a mission from Santa. We, we can't. We can't fail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Sure. Right. Yep. Yep. You said it. Mm -hmm. And in front of you, the huge, sparkling red caverns, Ew. the peppermint caverns, a you pleasant scent. Mm -hmm. Yes, comes wafting through that the air. Better. But with it, some sort of unpleasant odor beneath it. Something that smells of musk. And dust. It's the black licorice. And secrets. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? And black licorice a little bit. Who's ruining this peppermint? And you just see a giant yawning opening in the caverns in front of you. Completely dark. Oh. Well, I think there's only one way in. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna, we might as well go in there and ask these goblins why they're being this way. Okay, but wait, how are they going to talk to us if they don't have mouths? I don't know, they talk to Santa somehow. Oh, oh pen and paper? Yeah, they wrote stuff down. Yeah, I didn't bring any. I we can find something easy enough. Oh, they can write in the snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, not in the caves. 
I'm mm -hmm. sure. I'm sure that. I'm that not coin things. Oh, you got paper right there. No. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that'll the, work. No. <laughs> Don't you have a, bla a blank piece at the end of that book? No. It's They're like the, signatures. Please, it's the Christmas spirit. You know, Santa would be really proud of you if you did do that. I mean, Santa practically wrote that book. Yeah. Well, well, maybe we should go inside first and okay. see if they yeah. maybe have oh, a no, way to get I don't know. know. Unless you guys think that Boing needs to make a roll to resist peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, guys. It's just like this is a really important Do you even I, want to be an elf? Yeah, it's just this is a really Remember, important Remember, we're doing part. this for Santa, and he would be so proud of you if you actually tore peace Santa off. Santa is him. the Christmas spirit. It's a... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a this is the, my uh, only copy of this book, and it's really important. You know, to me. there's a library full of those back. They don't the let me book. in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I can get it for you. I can sneak in. You know, the Christmas spirit has been inside of you all along. I know that. Okay, well, calm okay, down. but I mean, you don't. I'm just saying, you don't need the book. <laughs> it's true. It's just all words. It's in your heart, remember? Yeah. Three hearts, right? Right. Okay, but he was talking to a rogue. So, yes, I have the Christmas spirit up here. You do? <laughs> and in here. Yeah. yeah. All over. Yes. Right. Heart number one. Yeah, yeah. Heart number two. <laughs> and heart number three. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can we go inside now? It's cold. Yeah, I'm sure they got paper in there. But can your book be a backup? I don't think that. If yeah, just well, say yes. Just say yes. Okay, well, moving can, on. Sounds like you said yes, guys. Yeah. All right, so you walk. <laughs> we can take it from him if we have to. Are you to. walking into the caverns? Yeah. So, yes. yes. It seems very dark and very still uh, in here. Right. <laughs> you do still have the light, but even though it smells like peppermint, there's an unpleasant feeling, like uh, old slimy peppermint film on the floor beneath your feet. And again, that feeling of being watched. It's hard to know what's coming up ahead. You feel uneasy just walking into the dark completely unprepared. Well, I don't know what else we're gonna do. We can ask if anyone's home. Is anyone home? Anyone home? Hello? Anyone home? Anyone home? Anyone home? Anyone home? Hello? Merry Christmas! Christmas! That's good. Christmas! Christmas! Mm -hmm. Christmas! I say we just go in. Oh, I have an idea. And, and, Wait, what? Marco! 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 There's no one in here. Marco. I would have uh, said Polo. It could have been a lot deeper for a cave. That's true, but I do feel like there's still someone following us. Is there anyone following us? Yes! 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 Okay. If there was, they would have said yes. Well, oh, they are. They did say yes. Well, if anyone can hear us, we've been sent by Santa to understand the treaty that you have. So we're gonna uh, just keep moving unless you want to talk to us about this treaty. And we 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 are not gonna harm you. We just want to talk, even though you can't talk. Just over some hot cocoa, maybe some chocolate Candy chip cookies. Canes. We can talk. And the Christmas hey. spirit. Don't have a mouth. Have Everyone a make a eat. notice roll for me. <laughs> Nine. Ooh, double sixes. Ooh, nice. Double ace. Yeah, so you're rolling again. Uh, okay. uh, so that's 11. A minus one, 10. 10? Mm -hmm. Three. Five. Three. Everyone but Aha uh -huh notices the echoes have stopped. You see all these rocks? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, uh-huh. I do see all those rocks. You could probably use those for something. Hey! That's weird. Hmm. Maybe Why are you yelling? Shut. Right. What? Like a wall. It's Oops. just a cave. Listen, you're wasting our time now. Can you just please really just come out and talk to us? We, we mean no harm. But the darkness does not respond. It merely stands there, inviting you silently uh, to enter further. I'm gonna uh, put. I mean, we don't want to waste your time any more than you want to waste our time. I'm gonna put one of my wind-up cars on the ground and just wind it and send it into the darkness. It's out of batteries. 
because you used the battery to make your light. Aww. And even though you wound it up, yeah. for some <laughs> reason, it had a battery in it, so I guess that's critical to that, its operation. <laughs> makes sense. All right. Okay. Santa needs me. That's it, Santa boy. Need my... And then I walk into the darkness. You're walking into the darkness? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, oh, so Boing walks in. Pass. Penitent man, yeah. penitent man, with Neil! A, a penitent elf will pass. <laughs> so Boing walks into the darkness and vanishes from your sight. And Boing, you just continue to walk into the darkness of the cave. Uh, no, we, we, we have to go. Let's hey, go. hey, other, other elf. What was his name? Boing. Boing. Yeah. Oh, well, he's just ahead of us. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's still oh, in there. like only five feet. I don't wander off, okay? <laughs> so you guys head into the cave? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you walk into the cave, and the darkness is almost complete, except for the shining filament from your uh, jack-in-the-box coil. However, as you walk, you start to see a soft glow from up ahead. And continuing into the cave, you see that there appears to be a giant chamber up ahead with what looks like luminous pools of liquid and rocks that are just floating in midair around the chamber. And looking up, holding your filament up, it's hard to tell exactly how vast this cavern is, but it seems gigantic. And the floating rocks just fill it at all these different levels that lift up to doorways and passageways that lead off into tunnels out of sight. Huh. Hogwarts. Just well, kidding. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in a long time. <laughs> right? Uh, well, this place seems strange. I, I wonder know. what kind of device they used to you think do that. Maybe like electromagnetism or something? Uh, I could be. Could be really helpful. I, mean, I should take notes. Everyone make a notice roll for me. Five. Five. Four. 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 Snake eyes. Whoa. Crit oh, fail. Oh, oh no. That's not oh, true. no. So all of you just kind of shout out and start looking around. The rest of you are, are just scanning uh, the walls and the passageways. However, as you're looking up, Boing, a little bit of liquid from the very top of the ceiling just plinks down into your eye. Oh, it's cave water, infused with peppermint oil. And all of a sudden, oh, your sweet. eye just starts to burn uh, and sting. Uh, you're at a minus one to uh, all vision-based uh, checks for the rest of the session. Try it, we're trying to listen. However, all of your it's good for digestion, though. looking oh, yeah. and screeching in pain is not quite skilled enough to notice the mass of creatures that have filled up the doorway behind you. Uh oh, say it to me while you're nice. And as you turn to look around, <laughs> you see right behind you a bunch of strange creatures that look very much like this. Yeah, okay all dressed in what looks like rags and scrap with giant black, deep soulless eyes and no mouths on their faces and they're all just arranged. Oh, 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 oh. They're all just arranged. Uh, Enhance. Wait for it. Enhance. Wait for it. Zoom. Oh, come on. You're, you're not zooming the right way. Zoom here. <laughs> Depth of field. There, oh. We had it. Anyways, you get the gist. Yeah, it's a thing. They're all standing there staring at you. I need a spirit roll from all of you because none of you saw them sneaking up on you. Oh my goodness. Spirit roll? Spirit roll to you resist got it. fear. You got it. That's a seven? Eight. Uh, six. 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 Six, pretty good. Eleven. Eleven, wow, you guys are not scared. Four. I need nothing. A four? <laughs> We're ready. It's hard when I only have one eye. It's hard to be scared when you have no idea what Five. fear is. <laughs> Wow, Santa chose the right elves. You turn around, yes. and though you're startled, you yeah. feel no fear, for the spirit of Christmas and work suffuses you. And one of these strange creatures steps forward and looks at all of you with its giant unblinking eyes, and in your heads you hear a voice, a soft, lilting voice that carries with it a trace of malice. Oh. Elves should not be here. Uh, is that you or who's talking? It's them. Um, I'm a witch. Why do you 
The one in front who is uh, addressing you turns his and swivels his head to you and says, "That's me." Oh. Uh, well, you should uh, introduce yourself. It's common decency. You are the interlopers in our cavern. Yes. Uh, well, I am Aha. I'm Poof. My name's Achu. And I am Boing. And we are here on a That's most Boeing. Uh, we we are here on a most important mission. <sighs> Your uh, names are stupid. A what? A oh. Very nice. Yeah, that was kind of rude. I mean, maybe they well, are. What's, I mean, what's your name? You have the honor of addressing Frippadoo. Ah, That's even Frippadoo. Well, that name That's is ridiculous. Silly. It is a name of great significance among our kind. Well. Why did you uh, attack uh, the elves? Santa has broken the ancient accord, and what? now I see he sends spies among us. Santa, <laughs> Santa would never break an accord. Santa, that that would be against the Christmas spirit. Clearly, you you, you are mistaken. Also, we knew of the Christmas spirit long before you, elf. If he wanted to send spies. If we were spies, we would be doing a very poor job of spying. Just as poor a job as you do making toys. Okay, hold on, mister. Wait. He's got me on that one. Listen, Buster, you can talk about our names. You can talk about how long you've known the Christmas spirit more than us. But you cannot say that we make poor toys. And as you say yeah. that, all of the goblins' ears start to like vibrate and twitch around you, and you hear this sort of chirping noise in your heads. You know nothing of toy making. You dabble. We create toys from the primal energy of entertainment itself. Well, that doesn't seem like it requires any skill or hard work. More skill than you could understand, but I this is don't beside the think point. So. You have stolen our leader, and as such, you have asked for war. Who stole your leader? Who's your leader? Yeah, what? What? The great and terrible Frumple Muzzle has been taken from our caverns by agents of Santa. Is that a real name? Frump? Frumple Muzzle? Muzzle Frumple? Frumple Muzzle! Frumple Muzzle? We were... Muzzle. We are unaware of any... Any kidnapping of, of, a, of a goblin. We do not believe who you. Who kidnapped him? Did you see who it was? We were left only a single mocking calling card. A red hat okay. with trim and a candy cane. I, I gotta be honest. I mean, that does sound like us. Okay, but Santa said you were smart, and I mean, if Santa was, why, why would he come in here and ruin a treaty? And so obviously. I mean, doesn't that just seem like someone's trying to set you up? Doesn't seem very Christmassy. Uh-huh, are you drunk? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. The real POTUS 98. I thought I already handed these out, but gives a reroll to Dom and to Eric. Oh, nice. There we are. Thank you very much, real POTUS. Sorry, I thought I had already done that, but apparently uh, I, I did not. The Discord. Yes. This afternoon, uh, Richard McSunday gave a reroll to the table. Oh, to the table. There you go, from Richard McSunday. Thank you. You raise an interesting point, but here you are. So soon after the deed was done, this does look suspicious. Well, you what? came and tried to kill our elves. Well, apparently part of the accord was that Santa himself could not come and venture into the Peppermint Cavern, so and, he had to send us. And also, there would be so many of us here, and there's only four of us, so that's why we're here to not cause any harm. Yet you did not bring Frumple Muzzle. We don't we know, know who that is. I mean, we seriously, guys. This. Can't you hear? He turns around and addresses the rest of the goblins and all of their ears start to <laughs> flutter and twitter and that chirping sound fills your brains, making hey, your, your yes. teeth vibrate and hurt. Ooh, you, That's a weird feeling. And be quieter with your chirping. Silence. And now we, there is silence. We <laughs> hear your words. 
but we do not trust you. Ah, well, well that's not our Why fault. should we trust you? You are just clumsy elves invading our home so soon after our leader was stolen by those that wear your and uniform. You're an idiot, murderous goblin, so where does that leave us? As then? you say that, all of a sudden oh, he hey, blips yo. in front of you and holds his hand up, and there's some sort of like black orb encircling the air inside of his hand. Watch your tone, Elf. My, my friend whoa, apologizes. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. She, she's an old lady, and she doesn't know how to use her words properly anymore, so just kind of, just talk to us. Uh, uh, aha, let us do the talking. I know how to use my words. I'm well, just listen, saying it as it is. I think just we're all... dated terms. We're right? all getting right. out of hand. We all, we all worship Christmas and the Christmas spirit, and I think that... We are all letting our emotions get ahead of ourselves and not thinking with our heads. We're thinking with with our anger and not about Christmas. Is there no anatomy? Your, we, <laughs> in taking your, your leader, we would be disrupting Christmas and that is against everything we stand for. Why would we do something so counter? to our own interests. He has a point. But, yeah. Yeah. Give me a persuade roll. That's really good. I'm bad at anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> Unless anyone wants to help him. Uh, yeah, yeah, can Do you guys I, want to support him? Yes. I want to help, yeah. Per, uh, which one is that? Uh, it depends on what you're doing to support him. Um, like what example? Yeah, anything you can think of that you think would help his case. You could offer up some uh, some more persuasion. Uh, you could uh, try and uh, seem super sincere with a performance role, but you don't have performance. <laughs> uh, just anything you think that uh, I, I will, could help out. I will add on to that and just, just be like, with only a couple days before the big day, why, why would we want to start a war which would disrupt the whole thing? We are elves. We love to work and we love to perform and we love to give toys to children. There's no reason why we would want to start a war like this. Can I? Um, <clears throat> so give me a roll. Eight or wait, we could only add up to two, right? Yeah, but he has added nothing. <laughs> um, no, I. I'm gonna... Oh, oh, roll! Oh, he's re-rolling. He's re-rolling. Hold on. Oh, Eight. Nice. Ten. That's a there plus two. Nice. Suddenly, his words, which before seemed sort of bureaucratic and weak, take on a new meaning. Uh, I can't, uh, so that's uh, a three, so that'd be five. A five? Ooh. Oh, okay. He aced it. Fifteen. So? Pretty good, right? Your arguments are weak, hmm. just like you. Weak! You will bring us frumple muzzle or you will perish in fire. Okay, why don't you tell us why or who attacked our elves? One of our agents so, sent in retribution. Okay, so it was you, so we have that covered. Yeah, we, we, we worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. didn't think that was ever in question. We played a I little never said it. prank. So I was worried that whoever was trying to uh, pull one over on them might have done the same to us. It is you who's trying to pull one over on us. Well, clearly you are not smart enough to understand what's going you on. You watch your tone, <laughs> hey, 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 it's cool. Uh, We're cool. I want, can Christmas I like, Christmas period. Yeah. <laughs> Can I try and taunt them? What? Yeah, but that's probably not going to help your cause. That'll that'll probably just make them mad. That is what taunt is really? for. Oh, I guess it is. No, I was I think I was trying to use it as intimidate. That's oh yeah. No, that would be intimidate. Yeah. No, I I get that now. You could try intimidate. I could. Yeah. I don't have that. I have taunt. You bore us. Bring us frumple muzzle. What does he look like? We, we don't, don't even know. We don't have a picture. We don't know. Yeah, we that's told like, you the truth. You take a look at all of them, uh, and they yeah. all look kind of exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, he is an excellent goblin. You would recognize him by the lustrousness of the depths of the pools of his eyes. 
the twittering of his ears, and the roughness of the sackcloth he wear. Are you sure that he didn't just fall down a hole? Because we met a yeti. He is great, you want your okay, toe? Okay, 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 okay. 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 I, I sit forward and I go, so, hey, you listen here, buddy, all right? All right, there's one thing I, I care about, and it's Christmas. And you were stepping in the way of Christmas, buddy, so you need to calm down, all right? You need to calm down. We need this whole situation just take it take it down a notch. All right? That's not the first good thing you said. You speak truth, Elf. Our anger clouds our spirit. For though we worship the spirit of Christmas in our own way, we are not so different. You do not seem to be lying. There was, I don't, I don't know what it was, but we saw something in the, in the licorice forest. It had very deep, deep black eyes. That's all I remember. That my... was us, fool. We were no. watching you. <laughs> okay, I don't... Man, for a second, you really had me on your side, <laughs> but then you just went and, and from behind you all, you hear a... Okay. Ow! Making fools of our- Ow! Someone's clapping slowly. And all of the goblins turn and whip their heads around. They also seem confused by this. And Clang comes walking into the tunnel for- Oh, great! Good job! Way to ruin everything! You ruined everything! Clang! What are you doing Santa here? didn't send you- What are you doing here, elf? Oh, sh shut your stupid mouth brain! I was trying! to get the goblins here to get all riled up and come and attack the workshop and destroy the Christmas production line before it even went into working. This is right. you. Why? What? Why? Yeah, what's going on? Why? Because this whole thing is stupid. It's stupid. Clank. We work for free all year long, making presents for kids who don't even say thank you. Then walk away. Did you know that some people think it's their parents that do it? Did you know it? You were just ruining Clang. it for me. Clang. These you stupid, stupid, ungrateful little snot-nosed craps! So you- They think, they think their parents Clang. just do this. They don't even think about us! Clang! No, you shut your mouth, boy! You're naughty! <laughs> You're naughty! So I was right. Yeah. I have never said that to another elf before, but Clang, you- are naughty. Well, if being naughty is what I have to do to take down this accursed holiday, then naughty I guess I am! And he rises up above the ground, <laughs> suddenly surrounded by all of these radiating waves of blackness. It looks like I was able to get a few secrets out of the head of that stupid goblin leader, and I'm ready to burn you all up in unholy fire! Wait! Die in a fire! <laughs> and he, his hands just shoot out and all of these ribbons of black energy just spray out all over the goblins who seem to be particularly susceptible to this and they're all kind of ensnared in them and bound to the ground. However, as that happens, the ribbons seem to sort of falter over each one of you. Except, of course, for Boing, who I need uh, to make a, uh, an uh, athletics roll. Athletics, uh, that's fine. Uh, that's a 16. That's a 9. A 9? Okay. So, despite the fact that these ribbons are coming right for you, you're fast enough. You don't rely on technology like the rest of these elves. You got no one to rely on but Boing himself. And you leap out of the way. Ah! Fine. And clearly your elfish engineering is interfering with this, but that doesn't mean no. I can't still kill you and keep this war going! It's the Christmas spirit that protects us. That's stupid! That's not even a real thing! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill all of you! <laughs> and he rises up into the air in this giant chamber with the rocks floating and flying all around him. Time for a battle. <laughs> a dance battle? All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. You get a three of yeah. hearts, what? an eight of diamonds, a seven of clubs, an ace of hearts for oh. Boing, and for Kling, dark wizard, an ace, an ace yes. of diamonds, and two fate chips of his own. 
However, oh. hearts goes before diamonds. So you are up first here. Now remember, elves are pacifists and will only fight in the most extreme of circumstances. <laughs> but in that instance, you stumble backwards in the cave trying to get away from him and you kick something metal on the ground. It's a gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> They unlocked, you found a gun oh. <laughs> in chat. So there's a gun. So a little backstory. We were looking for this because we were playing with it. We're like, where'd it go, where'd it go? He's like, God damn it, it's a tear. Are you happy? <laughs> you figured out a tear, you bastards. But you didn't know when it was gonna happen and no. it's happening now. <laughs> you found a gun. Okay. All right, what are you gonna do? You're up first. All right, I, I, I. <laughs> You're all gonna die! I'm gonna choke you to death from the inside out with this evil ooze shit! Mean! <laughs> That's right, I have a potty mouth now because I'm Whoa. naughty! Clank, I've never met someone as naughty as you. <laughs> and all I have to say is... Christmas spirit will not abandon you! And I go and I I, I, I just hug him. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need an athletics roll because yeah. he's floating up above the ground, so you're gonna have to run and jump off of yeah. a floating rock. I... <laughs> okay. Uh, that is going to be a nine. A nine, that's a really good athletics yeah. roll. So you go bounding up off of a floating platform and shove off and leap up into the air and grab onto him. That's all you can do on this round, but next round you're gonna get a chance to try and speak to the Christmas spirit inside of him yep. if you want. However, just in case that doesn't work, you also have a gun now. Yeah. Oh my god. Christmas is within you. Get off of me! <laughs> what are you doing? Let go! All right, so he's gonna just try and fly around here and shake you off. Um, so he is going to make an athletics roll here and you are going to have to oppose with uh, strength. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna roll first. You got a five, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna use my GM re-roll I was gifted earlier. What? Yeah, that's right, yeah, oh, there's an ace. It. I got an 11. So you gotta beat an, an 11 with your strength. Dangerous. Do it. Uh, well, you aced you on a D8, aced, so that's yeah, a pretty that's, good start. Uh, Sweet! Yeah, so that's gonna be eight plus seven? 15. 15. Wait, eight plus seven? Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, so he's flying around trying to shake you up. Let go of me! will not abandon you! This is dumb! Why is this your opening gambit? Um, but he does manage to get one of his hands free. And with that, one, two, three, four, five, six. What? what? How did that work out? What's up? You just went one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It was a six that I, I rolled. you went around all four of them. He shoots a hand out and a glob of dark energy goes flying through the air at you. Hold on, hold on. Yep, that's a four, that's all he needs to hit. So. Ooh, no. Haste. Oh, no. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, no. come on, I'm just an old elf. 20 damage, old elf. 20 damage. What is your toughness? Ooh, four. Mage armor. A four? Mage armor. Um, okay, so uh, said the word. your toughness is four, so that is a success with four raises. So you can spend a benning to try and soak these wounds if you would like. Otherwise, you're about to be completely knocked incapacitated oh, right now. Oh my god. Uh, soak is. Vigor. Uh, I always get them confused. I'll try to soak. All right, you're gonna try and soak. Make a vigor roll. At every success or raise you get will reduce one wound. That is a three. Hey, welcome, Ukador. No, oh, Ukador, thank, thank you for the raid. Thank you, Ukador. Oh my goodness, I guess Ukador. I'll try again. You're gonna reroll with another Benny. Yeah, actually, no, I'm gonna use one of the table rerolls. You're gonna use a table reroll. Whoa. Whoa. You need to get at least a success with a raise. <sighs> I mean, a success will just give you three wounds. You won't be out. How many wounds can you have in total? Three, three, and then if you take any more, you're potentially that puts dead. Me negative three for everything I do. Uh, I kind of want to use that other table. Reroll. Another table reroll. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. Roll that up. Ooh, no. Nope. with that five. You got a five. So this energy blasts into you, and because you're old and your bones oh. are brittle, oh. you go flying backwards and hit a wall, and you take three wounds as you feel a bunch of things crunch and crack inside of you. I don't think my bones are in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more where that 
came from! That's his turn. Next up, I believe it's Poof. I'd like to leap up on the rocks and try to grab his his arm so he can't cast anymore. Okay, so you're also gonna try and yes. hang on to him just like, yes. okay, so give me an athletics roll just to jump up there. Uh, would that be agility? Uh, athletics would be the skill. Oh, I'm sorry, d6, okay. D6 with your wild die. Oh, you aced it, nice. so you get to roll again. A 10. That's a really good minus, roll. Minus one. Minus one is still a nine. So you jump up there and you grab onto yes. his arm. So now you're hanging from his arm yes. while Boing is just hugging him around yeah. the midsection and he's flying and flailing <laughs> around trying to shake you guys off. What? What is this? Stop this it. is a weird tactic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that's all you can do this yes, turn, but you'll be able to do more Thank next you. turn. Next up, it's you. Me? Can I uh -huh. take the twine that we had used for the, uh, yeah. And uh, I want to go over to where they are, and I'm just kind of, you know, gonna like drag myself over there. And I <laughs> yeah, because your try... pace is three now. Yeah, I want to try to basically tie him up with the twine. Oh, n yeah, no, there's no way. So you got blasted back against a wall. I'm sorry, because your pace is already slower. You're, you can I don't move... know where I am in relation to them. You got blasted back. They're up in the air. Oh, like, they had to jump up I, to get there. Okay. You can move two squares right now, because okay. you're so wounded. So, no, mm -hmm. that's not going to be something you can do. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, thank you for all the subs and oh, whoever hey. wow. gifted those. Also, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Welcome, hey, if you're new in, in chat and you haven't watched before and you've just got gifted a sub, new subs or any subs can give a reroll to someone at the table, including the GM, or just give it to the table in general if you don't know who we are. And we're in a fight now, so now's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just let DJ Regular know and uh, they will send it on to us. Thank you. Um, man, I'm gonna go on hold. I don't really know what I can do right now. Okay, you're going on hold to wait. All right, so that means the next person up is going to be you, Achu. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I, uh... My favorite thing about that bit is it never gets old. No. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, I, I just... Aha! And I will... Did you have an idea or are you worried about your friend? <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Both. Uh, and I will put a finger aside my nose and I will zoom over to Aha. All right, so first give me an Elfish Engineering roll to make sure that you can use your Nasal Invigorator properly. The little capsule of four. adulterated cocaine you keep in your nostril. <laughs> That's a four. A four, okay, so that is a success. So spend your points. Now this doubles your speed, and you also lose your multi-action penalty. Right. So that's important because I want to use my healing skill ah. to try to heal uh, at least a little bit. So you run over to her and you're going to try and use the healing skill. Yes. All right. So make a... Uh, mm, you can't really use the healing skill in combat. Oh, right. Yeah, the healing spell you can use in combat. Let's just say but the spell. In combat healing, you can only use to keep someone from bleeding out, not to okay. cure a wound. All right, well, I'm still gonna run over to Aha. Okay. And, and protect her. Um, but all the while, I'm going to, uh, like, as I run, I'm gonna try and get the goblins to move away. They can't. They're all oh. completely, like, snared to the ground by oh. these dark ribbons that he shot out. Okay, well, is there anything I can do to undo, undo the, the- They're like, the, uh, they're like, Magic. magic ribbons. Okay. So you get the impression, no. I can't they do don't anything. seem tangible in a way you can interact with, but tangible enough to keep them locked to the ground. Okay. Uh, can I do maybe a notice check to see if there's anything in, in the uh, in the room that I can use to... Yes, give me a notice check. And in the meantime, Curse Spanish Spaniard would like to give a reroll to Boing, who is showing admirable dedication, keeping one eye closed this whole time. <laughs> and Default 13556 would like to give their reroll to the table. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, I got a four. A four. Okay, so what are you looking for in the chamber? Anything you can use to what? Um, either, either break the spell or, 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 or keep, uh, uh, um, our, the bad guy. I forgot his name. Knack? Clank? Clank. 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 Uh, Clank. Uh, no, Clank. Sorry. No, you're right. It's Clank. <laughs> uh, like off kilter or something. Um, you don't know anything about magic, so you're not really sure how to break the spell, but you do see what looks like a loose pile of rocks over in Great. the over in the corner near where uh Aha is. Okay. So you're pretty sure throwing rocks at the guy would throw him off his balance pretty much. Okay. Um good to know. <laughs> okay. I, I have that and then I will I will go to 
zoom in front of Aha and just be like, don't you touch her! Okay, you race over in front of her, come to a skidding oh, stop yeah. right in front of her, putting your body in between hers and his, so she's at least gonna get some cover from your body. Hand I have card. a heroic hindrance. You oh. do! Playing it admirably, that's everyone, right? Except unless you wanna go off hold. Um, He's now blocking in front of you. Yeah, I, 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 I'll... I just don't know. You can MacGyver something if you want. Yeah, I don't know what I would MacGyver though. If I Aha, check out those rocks. I bet if there was a way to fling a rock, I know what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea I just had. <laughs> you are the master tinkerer now after all. Uh -huh. But what about these rocks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take one of the rocks and use the twine to uh, basically wrap around it, and then maybe I can just like use it as a like. So you might be thinking sling, <laughs> right. but really what That's... she's trying to do is a death yo-yo. <laughs> it's a much more elegant device, and I'll allow it with a repair roll. Ah, death yo-yo, so a more elegant <laughs> weapon. For, for a more, more civilized time. time. Uh, six. I mean, six. we do make toys all day, so. It's a success, so the range of this yo-yo, mm -hmm. close range is five, medium range is 10, long range is 15. Okay. And it will, it's a missile you can throw that will come back to you. And also you can walk the dog. Hand in your card. <laughs> Next round. Oh, yeah. This is dumb! You're just delaying the inevitable! I could burn you all with unholy flame! King of spades. Nine of spades. Queen of hearts. Hey, it's a lot of clubs. Jack of diamonds. Hey, we did it, no clubs! Yay! Joker! No! no. That means he gets no. a penny and he gets a plus two to his attacks Ow. and damage this turn. Ooh. Jokers are good. He can also go at any point, even in the middle of one of your actions. Wow. So he's gonna go now. Yeah. Uh, and he <laughs> is just going to try and just shoot. He's got two arms, one that's locked at his side and one that's being held onto, but the arm that you're holding onto, you see the hand just start to curl and this energy starts to swirl around it and you can feel something similar happening down by your torso and he's just gonna try and blast both of you to oh. knock him up, knock you guys off of him. So, here we go with that. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Like it. Oh my Whoa. god! Two aces. Oh my god. Two 11s, two 13s, Holy so that's a success god. with a raise on both of you guys. So you both get blasted for, uh, poof. Oh god. Oh my oh god. god. What is wrong with you? Sorry, he he ace 15. Uh, 21 damage to poof, so your toughness is four. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be a success with four raises. So we'll get to what that means here in a second. And to you, uh, substantially less, uh, 11 damage. What's your toughness? Six. Oh, right, okay, so that's just a success with a raise against you. A success with four raises is gonna incapacitate you. Oh, okay. So what you need to do is make a soak roll, mm. and that's going to be spending one of your bennies to make a vigor roll, and then every success and raise you get on your vigor roll will reduce the wounds. So okay. find your vigor. D6. And then make that roll. Do I use mm -hmm. the other one too? Yep. And at this point, we can get rid of your minus nice. one too, because oh, that's you. you've nice. So uh, yeah, you aced it. That's good. That's yeah. real good. So do I roll this one yep. again? Mm -hmm. Oh Oops. nope, doesn't count. Ew. It's still a one, though. All right, so that's a seven, mm -hmm. which is one shy of being anything more than one. So you will take three wounds if you do that, or you can try and roll again and hope for a better result. Let's try rolling again. Also. Rerolling this will yes. let you use your Elan skill, which will give you a plus two. Ooh. Oh, does she have to use a Benny to do that? Oh yeah, yeah. you do Sorry, have to use no. a Benny to do that. Yeah, you, you would have to use a Benny. No. If you want to use another Benny, you I would, would get a plus I would two. Say do, 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 okay, we'll use yeah. another Benny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. this gives you a plus two to your So I just roll one again? No, no you reroll re both. Reroll both of them. All, all over again. Oh, Ooh, that's a four, that. which is still a success, but... Yeah, try it again. Okay, right. try it again. Okay. No plus two, but just another reroll here. Mm. Uh, five. No? Just yeah. five. Rerolling. Ah, oh, using them all up. This is important, otherwise she might die. Oh, oh my god. Crit fail. No, Ooh. I can't do that. Ooh, you can use, uh, you can use one of these to reroll a crit fail. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Because it's a Christmas special, I'll allow it. Oh yeah. my. Normally, I just blew off in suede of rules, you can't reroll. Nope. Okay. I don't think this it's gonna happen. A, yeah. So you soak one. But so he blasts you completely, full on up. in the chest, and you fall to the earth. 
just crumpling to the ground, and you feel like your ribs are broken. So you have three wounds, which is just a minus three to everything that you do. So it's I've... really bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have one wound, and you're going to be shaken. Okay. Oh, also, you're shaken, too, which is just, you're, it's something you have to roll against next turn. Okay. And so... you're also shaken, which we should have made you roll against, so just uh, give me a Benny. What? No, I only have one. Let me let me just try All right, to make your get ball. out of shaken next time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I uh, I am wounded and shaken. Uh, so I need to make a smarts roll. A smarts roll. Why are you yeah. winking? I'm not because winking. Can't. Uh, so, oh right! Oh, you got wounded. Yeah. Oh so, shit! So I just went berserk. Oh no, oh, that's right. A He's a berserker. Oh my god. So uh, you got wounded and shaken. So you took a wound. You're not gonna try and soak. Uh, I, I'll try and soak. I guess. Okay. So make a soak roll. That's, uh, Although you're still bigger, berserk. Bigger. Yeah, and that's... Uh, just a bigger roll. Yes. And you're gonna have to spend a Benny Make to do a it. A bigger roll. There you go, eat that Benny. Um, two. Yeah, that's a failure. Yeah. You wanna try again? Sure. <laughs> yeah, eat, eat that Benny. There you uh, go. Ace. Eight. Seven. Mm. Seven. Okay, so you do soak the wound, you're not shaken, but you are now seeing red. All of this pent up rage and aggression at being shamed and an outsider. <laughs> no. All of your attacks are going to be wild attacks, yeah. which is gonna make you easier to hit, but you're gonna do a lot more damage. And also your toughness just went up and you're ignoring wound penalties for right now. So wow. altogether pretty good. Also, Doramion would like to give their reroll to the table. Oh, thank, oh, thank you very much, Doramion. Yeah. All right, so that was his turn. Um, you also get blasted off, though, and you fall down to the ground, so now he's hovering above you guys. See what power I command! You cannot hope to win! Who's up next? Is it me? Uh, Queen of... Uh, King. King ah. of Spades is first. Uh, this is duration five. Does that mean five? Five turns. Five turns. Yeah. Okay, so it's still up. Yep. Great. Um, I will... Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a... I'm going to try to chastise. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Chastise? <laughs> I don't have intimidation. You can still do it. I know I can still do it, but. Uh, okay. I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and chastise him. Okay. Uh, what are you going to say? I'm going to say. When you took the head foremanship, you made an oath, not just to Santa Claus, but also to all of us elves, that you would uphold the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. Yep, we all agreed to do that. And you would <laughs> uphold the Christmas spirit and provide things free of charge because it's not about getting something back, it's about giving something to people. Make an intimidate roll. <coughs> that's an ace on the d4. Remember, this is at a minus, minus two. two. Okay, so that's a four. That's a four. All right, so he's gonna roll against it. Yeah, he can't beat him. Intimidate his spirit. He beats it handily. <laughs> hey, Achu! I had my fingers crossed! Oh. <laughs> well, that's stupid! <laughs> and, I'll, right. and you get another action. Yeah, you're, so I'll pick up a rock and I'm just gonna th throw it at him. Give me a throwing roll, which you also don't have. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, th I guess it's, yeah, it's specifically throwing. Yes, right? it is. So D4 minus two. Elves are not built for combat. Except for Boeing. Boeing is built for combat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the rock just <laughs> falls in front of you. Speaking of stupid, that was lame. Hand in your card. You're up next. Uh huh. Okay, let me get him. And I'm gonna take my fine rock and I'm okay. just gonna like <laughs> try and spin it over my head. Okay. And I want to try and and like wrap it around like his leg or him somehow, and then try and like pull him back. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be a called shot to his leg. <laughs> plus you're at a minus three, plus you don't have throwing. So uh, that's gonna be a, a D4 minus seven oh, altogether. You what? <laughs> you got this? I believe in you. Watch out. Nice. Hey, that's good. I got a uh, three. Three. A three, oh, which is one short oh. of what you needed. Damn it. Oh. So you cycle Wait, up your death yo-yo. No, yo -yo. I want to re-roll. You want to re-roll it? Yeah, I think definitely spend a re-roll on a d4 minus seven roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Oh, you aced on the d4, you're off to a good start. Maybe five. five. So a negative two. Damn it. So you spin up I'm your death yo-yo and, and, and 
throw it out, but instead of going up to hit him, it just does a neat, perfect around the world and comes right back into your hand. Uh, Oh, that was actually pretty impressive, but lame! Just the beginning. That was just to intimidate you. I'm gonna whisper to you, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know either. (laughs) All right, next up is Boing, who is now seeing red and completely in full-on rage mode. He lands, like, on his back, and he goes, you, you, don't understand the Christmas <laughs> spirit! <laughs> Actually, boing. Unfortunately, in berserk mode, you cannot use the ranged weapon. Okay. You can only attack with melee weapons, but I love that so much. I'll just say, if you want to throw the gun yeah, at him, yeah, we can absolutely do that. He wouldn't know, like, he wouldn't, he wouldn't know <laughs> to shoot it, because he doesn't make toys, he doesn't know, he goes, ah! I, I love it. Actually, pointing he, it and cocking it, and then just <laughs> throw it. it. Actually, what he does is he goes, and then he grabs it like this, <laughs> and just like is gonna like try and smack it with smack him with it like it's a club. So just jump up and pistol whip it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So give me uh that that's fine. Just give me a fighting roll. Fighting. And this is gonna be at a plus two because you're wild attacking. Yes. It However, is. if you critically fail this, you're gonna hit one of them instead because you're just seeing red. Yeah. Uh. So that's Ooh. eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Total. Ten. Yeah, ten will hit him with a raise. Yeah. So you jump up into the air and just pistol whip him right across <laughs> oh the face <laughs> with this heavy ass revolver. Boy. Um, so this is pretty heavy. Give me a strength plus d4 roll. Okay. So whatever your strength die is, okay. plus a d4 for the revolver. Okay, strength plus d. And then you're gonna add two to that because yeah. you're wild attacking. Uh, so that's uh. Five, six, uh, seven. Seven? All right, uh, so that is going to shake him, but it won't wound him, unfortunately. However, it shakes him, and he has to make a roll, or else all of the elves, or all of the goblins are going to escape. He's okay. Mm. But he is shaken now. He, ow! What? That hurt! Weird! <laughs> You're your naughty! <laughs> Boy, you can't say that! He's naughty! You're up, poof. Now, first things first, you have to unshake. So you can either spend a Benny to unshake automatically, or you can just make a spirit roll. Let me try rolling. Okay, so it's gonna be spirit minus three because of all of your wounds. And I also want to. Yeah, you might as well try it. Yeah, definitely try. No crit fail, okay. So I would just go ahead and spend a Benny to automatically unshake. Just eat that up. All right, so now you're unshaken, but you're still severely wounded. Oh my God. What do you want to do here? If I'm severely wounded, let me go invisible. All right, so you're gonna try and use your take elfish my, engineering. Take out my snow globe. Yeah, you pull out your snow globe, which portals up in front of you yes. as you ring the bells, <laughs> and then step inside when the swirling snow begins to the disperse crypto. the light. Give me an elfish engineering roll. Vast, okay. thank you. Thank you so much for thank the you, Oh, thank you very much thank for the tip. Thank you. Um, four. Mm-hmm. Do I have to subtract anything? Minus three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's gonna be a failure. Unless you reroll, there's also a table reroll if no, you want to use it. My All right, using your reroll. It's important to go invisible right now, so you, you don't die. Both of them. Oh, both of them. Yeah. Five minus three is a two. Oh my goodness. There's a table reroll. Okay. You want it? Sure. You want to use it? it. Do it. Sure. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. All right, ace on that. Okay, so roll it again. Roll it again. Yeah. Okay. Nine minus three is a six. The snow starts to swirl around and you fade into just a transparent outline of a poof. Great. Of you, your name is Poof. Yes, yes. (laughs) To be clear. Um, So now you are much harder to see. Good. All right, hand in your card. That's it for this round, right? Yep. Crashing through the entrance of the cave comes thundering footsteps. Hey, you guys sounded like you were in trouble, so Larry and I are here to help! <laughs> because the chat unlocked a lovely winter assist Hi. from the Yetis that you were kind enough to help. So now Harry and Larry are here as well yes. to help you guys out. Also, Thank I need you. to shuffle because a joker was drawn, so let's just Yay. shuffle that up real quick. So now Larry and Harry are here in the fight. This is gonna help. What? Cross-eyed yetis! These things are stupid! They're just yetis! This whole thing is stupid! You're all stupid! You're stupid! You are! Your face! Your face! Your face! Your Your face! face. Your face! Your face! face. Shut it! Everyone, stop (laughs) it! This is ridiculous. He gets a five. (laughs) Harry and Larry get a nine. Nice. All right, so up first, I believe, is Aha! Oh, no. Ah! 
so what was he yelling about? He doesn't like Christmas because we don't get paid, and because we don't and, get paid, and we give toys to people who are ungrateful, and most people don't believe in us. Yeah, you know, very reasonable <laughs> things. Yeah. Great. And also, Santa, for all his talk, is still somewhat anti-union. Yeah. Great. You have all this talk about how kids are ungrateful, but you've lived here and you've been fed well and been taken care of, and now you're trying to kill the elves and Santa and Christmas and all the things that have helped you. Why are you looking like that? I'm responding. <laughs> okay. In the moment, as Clank. Are you done? I'm just saying that. I work. Eighteen hours a day, seven days a week. You're being ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I a guess... pretty good schedule. I work <laughs> what? twenty hours a day. <laughs> what are you trying to do to him? I'm Anything trying, in particular? I'm just We're trying to make him feel bad. <laughs> You're trying to make him feel bad? That sounds like a taunt. Okay. So make a taunt roll. Also, I can't see out of these, so you just—I was like, what? Is there something on my face? Yeah, goggles. <laughs> Yeah. Well, they're red goggles, so it just cancels out anyone wearing red. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a taunt roll. That's cocked as hell. Five. Five uh, minus three, right? So a two. Yeah. You're gonna keep it. So mostly what? She, yeah, I don't. All I have is one minute. So mostly what she said was, "Hey, you're being mean." <laughs> and does his shaken oh. affect this? No. Okay. Oh wait, I was shaken though. I need it, because remember we forgot to do that? Yeah. You want to unshake for me? Yeah. What is that? Spirit, right? Yeah. Spirit minus three. All right, so you unshake. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he complete. What are you even- You're mumbling, you old idiot! <laughs> yeah, my bones hurt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hand in your card. All right, next up. I believe it is you, the foreman. Achoo! You're uh, still feeling the speed of your nasal invigorator. <sighs> okay. Um, you can go on hold if you need a second, though. I will go on hold. All right, we'll head it back over then to the berserker here with the Your gun club. Daddy! <laughs> you're gonna uh, attack him again? Yeah. All right. Uh, Give me a fighting roll, plus two, because you're still wild attacking. You are still berserk. Yeah. And he's still shaking, he hasn't had a chance to unshake. Yeah. Uh, I can't see very well, no depth perception. Uh, that's gonna be a four. Plus two is a six, six, which will hit, but not with a raise. So give me strength plus d4 plus two. No, oh, last time you hit with a raise. Oh well, I messed it. <laughs> so uh, actually add another d6 onto there. We'll just say, we'll do the damage from last attack this time. So, uh... 13 damage. 13. Okay, yeah, that's that's a hit with the race. So he is <laughs> uh, shaken and wounded. So that's he good. takes yeah. a wound. You definitely uh, knock a, a big cut into the side of his face. Ow! <laughs> Quit it! What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Hand in your card. Hey, Harry! Yeah, Larry! Fastball special! <laughs> and one of them just, the other one leaps into his arms and he throws him up in the air and one of the yetis just goes spiraling through the air waving his arms, but uh, it's still gonna probably do some damage. A nine's gonna hit for sure. I saw 90. Well, yeah. that's yeah. not what it really is. That's gonna hit with yeah. like... Oh, that's an Ooh. ace on oh. both of those dice. Oh yeah, that's an ace on a 10 and a six. Wow. Uh, okay, so 16 21. plus 20, 21 damage. Okay, yeah. He's gonna have to, so I'm gonna spend a, a benny to try and soak that. Mm. Ha! No. Yeah. Um, Three won't cut it. I'm gonna spend another benny no. to try and soak it. No. Oh, oh, god damn it, you stupid aces. Nine. <laughs> Soaked two of them. So he takes another wound. Um, he only takes one of them. He soaked wound? two wounds. Twenty-one? Jeez. Yeah, man. Jeez. Yeah, man. Wait. Oh no, that's two ones. Yeah, you're right. That is a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of math. 
I hate it. The Yeti goes flying through the air and just collides with him midair and just is clawing at him and biting. Oh, get up! What? No! And he comes crashing down to the ground underneath uh, Harry. And Harry just jumps up and says, I did it! I got him! <laughs> I'm still alive! Um, I'm going to run to him. Uh, and... Uh, um... <laughs> You have failed Christmas! <laughs> and uh, I, I'm gonna slap him. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fighting roll. Uh, it's, it's a four. That's not gonna clear his berry. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna reroll? Yeah. Elves are not good at fighting, except for Boing. Uh, ace on the d4, there, there we go. go. Oh, that's cocked. No, that's cocked. Okay, seven, seven will clear his parry. So roll damage, which is just gonna be your strength. Great. That's a d6. That's a d6, so he's not bad. Five. Five? Uh, five. He's already shaken, isn't he? Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> He's already shaken. So you run over and say, you have failed Christmas, and slap him in the face. And as you do, I don't know, his head spins to the side and hits a rock. Oh, and, oh crap. and blood just sprays out of his mouth. <laughs> Did I <laughs> and and you see blood just oozing down his face over his eye, and this huge pulse of dark energy flies out from him and sends everyone flying back, even you, invisible poof, go flying backwards. But you don't take any damage. The elves are still reeling against their chains on the ground. The goblins. Oh, sorry, the goblins. What? And he stands up. This is not how this is gonna end. This is this is not how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill Christmas. I'm gonna kill all of you. And I'm gonna kill Santa Claus! And I'm gonna kill all the children! And he's starting to float back up in the air again. He says, and you're all gonna watch! I'm gonna keep you alive while you watch! But meanwhile, poof, no one sees you on the ground because you're invisible. But you end up next to a puddle on the ground. And as that's happening, you just look over at the puddle and you see ripples in the puddle. Like, some large vibration is getting closer. That's right! I'm gonna burn all your eyelids off so you can watch me shove candy cane down children's throats until they suffocate and or drown on their pepperminty saliva! That puddle is still shaking and the, the ripples are getting bigger and more frequent in it. Okay. And then, then, I'll consider letting you all die! And as he says that, the rocks on the wall on the side of the cave just burst open, and a gigantic T-Rex <laughs> bursts through the walls of the cavern. <laughs> and just cries out his magnificent T-Rex cry. And, and Clank turns around in the sky and says, what the fuck? And then the T-Rex <laughs> comes over and just chomps down with his jaws and swallows Clank with one gulp. And as that happens, the T-Rex lets out another gigantic roar and a banner comes flying down from above the ceiling <laughs> that says, where dinosaurs ruled the earth. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> because the people in chat unlocked the final tier, which was T-Rex attack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I had to come up with really quickly on a moment's notice. Mm. Good job. And I feel like I did pretty well with it. Was that a T-Rex? So, uh, now we need a helicopter to get away. That's so <laughs> that, and then, <laughs> that was not a T-Rex. Uh-huh. <coughs> that was the Christmas spirit. And the T-Rex swivels around, uh. and its tiny claws pull a little red Santa hat out of its breast pocket, because it's wearing a vest, oh, did I mention yeah. that? Yes. And puts it on top of its head, and it gets its gigantic face right down level with yours, Boing, and its eye, its the pupils dilate on its eye, and it just gives you a... Uh. <laughs> and then turns and thunders out of the cavern, and Harry goes, all right, thank Dennis! <laughs> Dennis. Okay. He lives up here! Meanwhile, <laughs> the elves have been freed from their bindings. Goblins. That's probably Sorry, the goblins <laughs> have been freed from their bindings. That's probably right, what happened friend. to, oops, Dennis. He turned into Dennis? No. Yep! No. No, yeah, he had a drink of those T-Rex puddles. 
You don't drink T-Rex puddles! Wait, no, I was pretty sure that he got eaten. Dennis? No, oops. <laughs> You're funny! <laughs> All right, bye! And they turn and leave. Merry Christmas! Uh, bye! The goblins, meanwhile, kind of stumble back up to their feet. Does anyone want their hammer back? Uh, That's not a hammer. Yeah, Blaine, just leave that, it. You should put that down. You're going to shoot your eye out. With a hammer? How am I going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a curious turn of events. Yeah. Well, egg on your face, eh? Um, well, clearly we were in the wrong to think that it was you and Santa who had violated the treaty. I mean... I mean, it was, yeah. you almost murdered like 20 of us. We tried telling you. But, I mean, you're wrong, but not also because it was an elf. Right. You know, it, it, just, it, it was... wasn't a coordinated thing. Well, perhaps it is time for us to emerge from hiding and consider renegotiating this treaty, perhaps under more favorable terms. It seems that. Perhaps we allowed our own pride to get in the way of the Christmas spirit. Which is the most important thing, after all. It is. And if we all work together, there might still be time to come back from this workflow issue <laughs> and make this the best Christmas ever. Uh, workflow is r really important. We need to go back to work, too. Also, we you do. both appear to be bleeding quite oh, yeah. heavily. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me help. Yep, perhaps you <laughs> deal with one of them, and I'll, I'll administer to another. Mm -hmm. So and I'll read from the book. Yeah. So while Boing reads his favorite passages from the meaning of Christmas, the goblins bandage you mm -hmm. up and... Achu bandages you up, yeah. poof. Mm -hmm. Even though he has a hard time seeing you until you become uh, uh, yes. revisible, yeah. but that makes it a lot easier. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We still must find Frumple Muzzle, though. Perhaps this evil elf had him hidden somewhere. Might you know where he would be? We've uh, never heard of him, honestly. I mean, best guess is is somewhere in. Clang's room? I... Yeah, he has the head for him and he does have a, 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 an office. Well, take us there, post haste. Okay, let's go. All right. And so you journey back right, to the workshop. Get, hop on. No! Oh, piggyback. Finding everyone there is working just as heartily and merrily as before, although it seems like there's no way they're going to hit this year's quota. And you do indeed find Frumple Muzzle tied up inside of Clank's room. And he looks uh, actually significantly different than the other Christmas guy. He's got a long beard and like a scar over one eye. Uh, a pretty distinctive looking guy. You feel kind of bad for thinking that they all looked alike earlier. Shame on you, but I guess we all learned a lesson. I mean, I did ask if they looked different. True. So I get some brownie points. I guess. Yeah, we'll allow it. We're elves. We can get brownie points. You can get brownie points. It's in. It's in the. That's you're right. kissing cousins to brownies. We get paid in. Brownie yeah. You can turn those in for brownies. Nice. Yeah, I like brownies. Me too. And Santa welcomes all of you back with open arms. Uh, uh, meanwhile, Santa has put together what had been going on uh, with Clang. It seems he had been keeping a close eye on him this whole time and just needed this little trying to murder you all incident in order to really send his suspicions home. And he says, oh, thank you. Uh, 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 thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Achu. Poof, aha, and Toing. You truly have worked together to save this Christmas. You were gonna let him murder us? What, no. What? <laughs> are, you, uh -huh. are you drunk again? On the cocoa no, no. and the peppermint? I just But I she like was it. a little. <laughs> <laughs> And now, seeing as it's almost the 22nd of December, you know what that means. We've got to work double time to make sure all those woodland critters get their gifts just in time for tree snow happy cold time. Oh, oh you still have, do that? Perhaps the goblins can help us. Oh, perhaps they can. What do you say, goblins? One more for old time's sake? And, and that's right. I don't do tree snow happy cold time anymore, but I have a special friend who does, and I think oh. he's on his way right now. 
And as the goblins get to work on the assembly line, joining with the elves, melding together magic and technology to make the best gifts, all of the impossible things like iPads and Ooh. virtual reality machines. Armatron. Oh, wow. And, and Garbatron. Armatron. <laughs> but also Garbatron, <laughs> which is an Armatron you can use for garbage. <laughs> you hear from up in the sky above you a ho, ho, ho. Here I come in order to get the presents for the woodland creatures. Right. And down from the chimney, his finger aside his nose, comes a tiny four-year-old boy dressed in Santa Claus clothes. <laughs> and out from his sack, he pulls such a sandwich <laughs> and offers it up to every girl, boy, and man witch. <laughs> it is I, Twumpy Claus. I'm here to say thank you all for saving Tweet Snow happy cold time this day. With the spirit of Reginald safe in my heart, the penguin of Tweet Snow happy cold time <laughs> will never fart. Oh. Yeah, you know, that one got away from me. You don't want it to fart. <laughs> but also, I'm only four years old. No. Oh. Because yeah, 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 chat unlocked Trumpy Claus as well. So thank you, chat. I hope it was worth it. And as Trumpy Claus comes down to share his sandwich with all of you, the elves, the goblins, Santa, and Trumpy Claus spend a lovely December 21st evening together preparing for Christmas and also treats no happy cold time. <laughs> The end, yeah. you guys. Oh That's the end. Oh, I can open my eye now. You can do it. Well done, everyone. Great it's, job. It's and so much brighter. One yeah. more toast. Yeah. One more toast. Oh. Everyone, raise your glasses. From President Voss. Oh, Voss! I can't believe famous actor Diana oh, Restrepo was uh, playing with us. This is a Huzzah! I, I can't, can't believe, believe famous, famous actor, actor Diana, Diana Restrepo was playing with us. Huzzah! Uh, ho, 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 uh, ho, ho, ho. It's a running joke. <laughs> thank you guys us, very much not. for You're unlocking okay. all of that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you guys. You guys unlocked thank you, a T-Rex attack, an elf song, Trumpy Claws, a lovely winter assist from the Yetis. Of course, you'll shoot your eye out uh, finding a gun, and also a very prickly holiday special. When we come back from the holidays, before the new season of East Texas University, we will indeed do a prickly tall stag episode. We were already planning to, but because of you guys, it's going to be a weird prickly tall stag holiday special uh, in January. That does seem like the time that the does prickly seem weird. tall stag would be. BSB do care, it, so. thank you. So thank, thank you guys, care. and thank you, BSB care, for thank the tip. You. Thank you guys, all of you who were here and watched this, and uh, and and thank you to those of you who tipped and those of you who subbed. And if those of you are new or you're just here to see famous actor no, no, Diana no, no, Restrepo no, no, play no, with no, us no. I don't know from I don't from know. Dragons and Things. Uh, all of you guys, thank you for being here. Yes, thank you. Thank uh, you guys. You've been watching Saving Throw, and you've been watching The Return of the Christmas Goblins, a holiday special. We hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's how you remember the story. Yes, oh, yes. it's a little bit different, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Um, we took a little bit of creative liberty with the story. Yeah. This is actually, the Christmas Goblins are something I made up for my little sister Zoe when she was four, I think, in order to uh, hide her presence and make her go on a weird scavenger hunt oh. through the house. And I did it several years in a row after That's that. Fun. But now she's 14 and I didn't feel like making her solve <laughs> math equations, so I stopped. But feel free to use the idea of the Christmas goblins with your own kids. No gifts are safe on Christmas Eve. Our kids are from the Christmas be so confused. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for being here. One more time, yes. let's get everyone's name and where people can find you should they wish to. Sure. And we'll start here with our lovely guest. Hi, I'm Diana Strepo. I come from Dragons and Things on Twitch, and uh, you can find me on Instagram as DianaRest3 or Twitter as I think I'm DianaRest3 as well. I think so. I think so. Try it out. It's probably Sorry. her. If not, just Google it. Sure. Google. Cool. Hi, I'm Dom, and I'm here always. I'll be here <laughs> tomorrow uh, for a, a thing that I'll have Eric talk about. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Aaron. <laughs> I'll be here tomorrow uh, painting minis with uh, Iron Tusk, uh, who uh, d has done some amazing miniatures for us. Really cool stuff. Yeah, uh, we're, I think we're painting Christmas themed minis. Uh, but you can always find me on my personal Twitch, mostly Eric, uh, or my social media, mostly shit. And I will be back here Wednesdays in the new year with the Iron Keep Chronicles. So stay nice. tuned for that. That's right. 
I, I'm Megan Caves. You can find me <clears throat> on Twitter at Megan Caves. Uh, and you can catch me on Wild Cards when it comes back with our new setting, ETU, East Texas University, Savage World, same system you saw here. It's really fun, it's horror, college, highly recommend. Yeah! Dom, Jordan, Jordan runs it, Dom's also in that. And guys, things are slowing down for the holidays. We're gonna be, a lot of us are going out of town, so there may not be many things coming up in the next couple of weeks, but I'm sure, stay tuned to our social media for things that we do have coming up. As Eric said, we have Maximum Miniatures tomorrow, which should be a lot of fun. It's a great group of painters doing some cool stuff, but, from all of us here at Saving Throw, and also from famous actor Diana Restrepo, oh we'd like to wish you all a very happy holidays. Whatever yes. holiday you celebrate, if any, we hope that the spirit of Christmas, secular as it may be, lives inside of all of your hearts. And do something nice for somebody, guys. Somebody, somebody you care about, or someone you don't know. That's, huh. I think that's what the holiday season is all about. Um, and, and we'll leave you with a t with a toast from BSB Care. Today is the solstice, so it's perfect. It's, oh, it's not the solstice. Name. No, it's the solstice. Yeah. Yeah. Here. It's the solstice. It's the solstice. It's the solstice. From BSB Care. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Aww. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye! Bye. Thank you.